What's up, Dumbledore Flim Flammers? How you doing tonight? As you can see, we got a lot of a lot of chairs up here because we got a whole lot of show. You excited for number three hundred, everybody? everybody up on stage and do the Spencer dance. All right. From the Dynasty typewriter at the Hayworth in beautiful MacArthur Park, Los Angeles, the 300th Harmontown is now in session. Spencer Crittenden, everybody. What's up, Spencer? Yes, why, why do we have bells? Do we know about this? To buzz in. All right. You got more candles. More candles. I got subtle accessories. <laughs> Speaking of accessories, let's bring out the mayor of Harmon Town, Mr. Dan Harmon. Things are being knocked all right, let's, off. Let's, all right, let's bring it back from there. Uh, we don't want to do that till like the end of the concert. Uh, if anything, I mean, isn't it ironic that uh, you, I, I tried to telegraph to you for a teachable moment? It's it's an act of cowardice to kick over a chair that you've tripped over. It would have been brave for me to say I tripped over a chair. That would have been the the the, the machismo move. But I did what a rock and roller sometimes does, cornered by their own glory. I was like, yeah, I meant to, I hate chairs. Oh, boy. <clears throat> I threw it on the ground. <laughs> Speaking of irony, paradoxes, um, is the plural of paradox paradoxes? What, what is, is it? Paradoxes. Par okay. Um, <laughs> Welcome to the 300th episode of a, of a thing that, 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 that we never plan and we, we And you would be the only person that has been for all 300. I would say that's probably inaccurate. <laughs> yeah. I never really thought about that. I'm sure I missed 50 or so. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Even Carson could like not show up for yeah, a couple, yeah, but yeah, yeah, like yeah. it wasn't called you, Carson Town. You, you have no Joan Rivers. You but it was know. called The Late Show with Johnny Carson. So, and right. he did, but, but you know what? I can't either, uh, maybe, I, I just can't fill these shoes. Can't do it. <laughs> the subscribers would revolt. Um, yeah. Uh, we, we still have some? Some shoes? Subscribers. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure okay. we do. Um, I, I uh, thank you for, for, for those of you who are, are newcomers, uh, those of you who have been here with us uh, and followed us through all our venues. What a, what, I, I guess tonight's going to be a night of probably remembrance, unavoidably. <laughs> um, <laughs> one, of the, one, one of the weird ironies of the show is that we probably do a little too much recapping anyway by accident because we're like middle-aged alcoholics that are casually repeating ourselves. <laughs> like, I, let's do a clip show. You guys did that last week. You, do you mean you retell that story about fucking... We definitely night? complained about just listening to podcasts last week. <laughs> like, Schraub made a big deal about that being a bad thing to do. Right, and we do actually, for his enjoyment, we have some clips of our own show tonight to play for him. He'll like, love it. Yeah. He probably won't disrupt it at all. Uh, we've got, we've, we, I, I didn't want to go overboard with the guests, you know, I, I did like, like, what do you, you know, we, oh, let's get Doug Henning out here, that was a magician, uh, yeah, 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 whatever, it was like, I think, I think, I think probably on our 200th or our 100th, we probably had the same, like, I'm always like, well, get us our, uh, our, our progenitor, um, uh, the, the person without whom we, uh, we, we wouldn't have, I wouldn't have started doing the podcast, and we'll, 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 we'll bring her and her, uh, her husband kind of comes along with her wherever she goes. He's kind, uh, of, he's kind of a tag along. We'll yeah. bring her out in a second. But uh, I uh, first wanted to, before she comes out, I wanted to um, keep it classy um, and talk to you about the fact that I'm shitting my brains out right now. That I, 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 right now? Something, well, 
something is happening to me. Classy? It, it, something beautiful. It, 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 it's it, like, I, I think I might be dying only because I'm experiencing, for the first time in my life, just pure diarrhea um, uh, without any other symptoms. So it's like, like you just say, like, so your ass is just a faucet. Like, I don't have a fever. I don't have, I don't, I don't have a tummy ache even. I just have like a, like I'll eat a cracker and my body will go, you want to turn that into four ounces of water? Uh, <laughs> and then the irony is I drink anything. I, I'm even testing the theory. I can drink anything. I'm drinking a Coors Light right now. Like, I, like it, it doesn't do anything with that. But there's pizza backstage and I was like, I, no, I can't nibble that or, it, or my body will go into this juicer mode. Um, I have no idea what's happening. It's been happening all weekend, uh, and then it was. I'm surviving on Imodium, and you know uh, what it means, Dan. What's that? You know what it means? Hmm. You're in love. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's more plausible than Dave Klein's theory, which is that my body is shitting out all its fat. <laughs> and I'm like, Dave. Okay. Did, did, if, did, if it's possible did, to do that, uh, why <laughs> why don't Gazelle do that while they're running from I, a tiger? I I adore Dave Klein. Dave, I, I can, he's sitting right near me. Um, I think last week we proved that he has no actual qualifications as a, tra as a trainer. That's that because sounds a, that sounds pejorative. A bunch, of, a bunch of drug addicts came on stage, and 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 you, you, you were the most fit person on the on the whole. Oh. Well, that sounds like a qualification okay, right there. Right. He's getting the job right, done. I and I would never work with whatever you think in your head is a legitimate trainer. Fuck that guy. I wouldn't work with him. So, <laughs> like, I'm working with the only guy that I would ever be this long into working out and still show up every. Every time, like I would, I would have bailed so long ago on like any kind of like. Tr re I don't want to say real because it makes you sound unreal. I, 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 although sometimes I believe that I'm the only one that can see you, but, but like. <laughs> But I, there's absolutely no way. There's no way I would ever do a, a fucking like the fucking trainer that's like supposedly like the real thing. I had to go with Dave Klein. All right. Anyways, and I'm I'm gonna live like five years longer at least uh, because of it, unless I shit out my soul tonight. <laughs> I don't know if I, did I run over a, a gypsy baby? Uh, yeah. Don't you don't remember that? Oh, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. that that'll, that'll give you the diarrhea right away. Yeah. It's just, I think what Spencer and I, our theory is, just so you don't panic at home tonight. My theory um, is his butt thinks it's his dick. <laughs> he keeps peeing out his butt. You Sorry, what was our theory? You made up that theory. You're trying to appeal to a demographic. But... Which demographic would that be? Uh, uh, our theory was that, because I've been eating on these protein bars, like I get these... Oh, yeah. I just like I these peanut butter protein bars, and I think there's like, there's so... My body has taken in so much like fake alcohol-based uh, sugar, like substitute, that it finally got to a tipping point where my body's like, so we live on the moon now. Like, <laughs> like, like, so you're just going to shit in a funnel, right? Like, 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 maybe I'll help you propel. Like, 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 I think, I think, I think your body, like, if you starve it, your body goes into ketosis. If you, you know, your body reacts to certain things it's taking in, your body goes, okay, so we're obviously being hunted right now, so here's how I'll react. Right. And, and but you, when you're on the moon... If you, I think if you eat enough of this, like, synthetic, like, protein bar, your body eventually goes, so we're moon rakers. Like, like, let's just poop liquid. I don't know. I thought you guys would enjoy that theory, but, like... <laughs> But I don't want to, you know, look, part of our 300th episode is going to be a recalibration of our social contract. I, I, I'm sorry if sometimes I uh, let you know after you don't react to something that you should have reacted to it. I never mean to do that uh, to you. You know, um, Tolstoy, towards the end of his life, uh, he, he kept a, a diary. And towards the end of his life, a lot of his entries just about pooping. All right. So you're turning into Tolstoy. So you're, you're in good literary company now. All right. <laughs> I try, I'm not going to connect the dots between diary and diarrhea. I'm not going to do it because I'm like a craftsman. Like I, I don't, I don't just connect whatever dots there. Yeah, that would be dumb. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything else before we start bringing out friends and just uh, looking back. Um, oh, here's a boy. If you didn't like the last thing I thought you'd laugh at, <laughs> you'll 
love not laughing at this. <sighs> Here we go. Uh, the ultimate paradox, I thought, as I was getting dressed this morning, the more slimming your shirt color, the more dandruff enhancing. <laughs> She's like driving to work. I'm like, Jesus, fucking dog hair and dandruff. I'm like, why do you, why do you, why do you have so many black shirts? Oh, because you don't want to look like you're fat. You're trying to like be like the venom suit and like. <laughs> <laughs> You, 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 you've fallen for that theory that if there's no color, you could like, that people won't see your body, you'll be a shadow. <sighs> Is it me? Is it, I, I, like, I like what's going on with your hair and your beard right now. I like, I like, I like the whole design right now. I put a little shampoo this morning, and I, so you got to give it a couple of days to oil back down. But, but, you, but, you, but you, you crossed over recently into being almost completely gray-haired. Like the use, the, like that happened pretty fast for me, or, or maybe I just haven't seen you that much. Yeah. I like, I like it. You look great. It's, it's you, look, great. You, you look like the like, you look like one of the captains of like the deadliest catch. You look <laughs> fucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the deadliest catch of all life. Uh, uh, so you, you know that crab trap comes up. Oh, it's full of death. <laughs> It's full, of, it's full of sands of time. <laughs> 300 miles off the Bering Sea. I can't remember what the fuck it is. Uh, and, all right. and it's actually sponsored by Coors Light, so you're fucking right in it right now. You're, you're got no. the, you're well, let's roll into our it. other unofficial sponsors. Let's bring out some of our illustrious alumnus. Uh, alumni. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah uh, honestly, for real, like, like, I, I, I've never, I never would have, uh, the, the podcast thing, I never would have done it. She said one night at the roost, uh, uh, you should do a podcast, and then I kind of resisted it for a while and did a show at Nerd Melt, and... Uh, and then uh, started doing it, and um, and she's also the reason why your favorite person in the world <laughs> that you miss so much all the time is uh, what used to be on the show before he became so valuable to you that he had to go away and serve you from a different tier of reality. Uh, let's let's. let's <laughs> What a charming intro. <laughs> I just want the audience to know. You fucking hate him. We're, <laughs> I don't hate him. I hate the audience for loving him. Uh, well, okay. So, you, okay. so you, instead of hating one person, now you hate 100 people. We all know, if you watch the show or if you've ever been to the Reddit, that, that, that the dog whistle for I hate Harmontown is I miss Kumail. Like, <laughs> Let's bring out Kumail Nanjiani and Emily Gordon, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. 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 <laughs> Camille, did you hear that Dan hates you? Yeah, no, I heard. He knew. I think you. You resents you. you. It's different. He resents is a compliment. Hates you is like, fuck this guy. Resents is like Lucifer talking about God. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. You really... That's like the highest form of flattery. I resent him. Uh, like, oh, why? Oh, the audience misses him. That's a, that's a fucking... Come on. That's that, that, that. No, I'm, in, I'm into it. He yeah. does like it quite a bit, yeah. I'm changing microphones. That one has a dent in it, and I feel like I'm better than that now. <laughs> Old Kumail would have kept that microphone. I'm not going to have a fucking dented microphone. I'm God. Look at mine. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Like a cone head. Do either of you guys all, want a uh, vodka all, on the rocks? I'm okay. Right. All microphones are like cone heads. What do, you, what do you mean? They look like ice cream cones. A point, like a freak show cone head. Oh, I see. Old school freak show. Um, Pinhead. We've really gotten oh. into unrelatable comedy now, where we <laughs> just talk about the lumpiness of the microphones we're talking into. So. Well, don't do relatable, because I tried to, I was trying to get, make them laugh by doing the meme of, like, I miss Kumail, and it just, I guess people, uh, like, think that These I, guys aren't on the Reddit. Yeah. I guess I, maybe they were. I used to be on the Reddit. Oh, that, no, don't be that. Emily, are you proud or are you ashamed of what you've created over 300 episodes? <laughs> both? Is both an option? <laughs> oh, always. Could, I mean, what a crazy thing. Happy 300 episodes. Thank you, thank what you. What an amazing thing. It's amazing. <laughs> and 
the show you started out doing was we're all going to go to the moon, <laughs> right. right? How will we survive there? Right. And every week explored that topic. Right. That was the original conceit. Right, for it's the first nice couple episodes. It's to go back and look at, like, that's where we started. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and now it's 300 episodes later, and uh, uh, Trump is going to the moon. <laughs> He's space Force. Stri- space Force. And I no- want to dig a hole and hide. And die. Which that is easier than going to the moon, at yeah. least. Yeah. Uh, I like. I. I listen. I don't want to be the odd one out, but I. I like Spencer's theory that your butt has become a dick. <laughs> it just thinks it's a dick. It Are you it's pooping a dick. out of your penis? Because then we can be sure yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. That sounds oddly like satisfying. Like I know. Uh, I'm genuinely sad. I'll never. Poop out my penis. Well, because I'll never know what that feels like. Aren't you picturing like a like like a um um what's it the um the soft serve the, the the Carmex or what what's the thing like the the Carmex the, the lip the lip balm like yeah. the, it's got the little tiny <laughs> hole and then it has like that really satisfying right. narrow like yeah, like right. worm guy. that comes yeah. out like yeah. it's like really consistent and, and like you it. could oh. like write with it if you were a oh. chef. Like, I just, I mean, obviously... You, you wouldn't need to wipe. You just get a Q-tip and you're good to go. <laughs> Carmex? Would you have to squat for that, or you think you could do it standing? Oh, you could do it standing. <laughs> These are uh, questions I, Dan, I can't Dan, answer. Speaking of Dan, Dan Poopins, uh, there's something that you've said... Like, sometimes things stick with you. Like, when I'm shaving, I remember... <laughs> comments about shaving, because it's a kind of a quiet moment. Or I'm washing my hair, I'll remember a line or a joke about washing your hair. But you <laughs> have haunted me with the thing that you said, <laughs> that you can never wipe enough. It, uh, like it, it's never done, because you said, my, my, my butt is like an endless can of shoe polish. <laughs> <laughs> and that has stuck with me, and it will stay with me until I have Alzheimer's. <laughs> Well, then someone sent me that meme that was like a cut from Parks and Rec, like or Chris Pratt oh, the did the marker. thing where he's like, it's like, it's like wiping a magic marker. A magic marker <laughs> and yeah. I felt so, so much... Seen. You felt seen. Yes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and, he, and he was like, thank you. Uh, you. You stole that. And I was like, no, you probably stole... I don't, who knows who stole what? I mean, wh- when I wipe my ass, it never stops. <laughs> great great um, minds think alike. <laughs> great asses wipe alike. <laughs> speaking, speaking of great minds, we've had some wonderful ones on this show. I thought that's what Jeff was doing. I thought he was setting up a clip. Yeah, Je- you know, we, I, we, we could. We have a bunch of clips right now that we can play up on the screen, and you'll be able to hear them if you're an audio listener, uh, as opposed to a video listener. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Burn. <laughs> yeah, guys. Fuck you right. Jeff. Did. Let's just test it. I just want to turn test, your, see how turn, it goes. Turn your computers on and the sound down for this next clip. <laughs> uh, here's, a, here's a little clip uh, of, uh, of our friend uh, of the podcast, Rob Schraub, wondering uh, about space exploration. Why don't we ever go down? That's not Schraub. Oh. Celebrating 300 episodes of Life on the Moon. Town Highlights. Like, like, we... Mm. All right. And that was that oh, clip. What a great clip. What a great clip. That was Why Don't We Go Down. That's weird because... You really, watch their mouths moving. Really that, that, clip was, that clip was longer than I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well... We've, we keep, we've flipped. Here's something I've always wanted <laughs> to know. How come when we, when, we, when we go into space, how come we've never gone down? <laughs> We're always going to the moon. Always going there. Always sending stuff out. You mean past my... How come we don't go down? In the, into the earth? Somebody... What? Into the center of the earth? No. No, he, no, no. no we've he always gone... Like, how come we're always, always going going on this two-dimensional plane? Go to the, Mars. The planets. Like, when okay. 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 Why oh. don't we go down? Right. Why funny. can't we... Yeah, why don't you, we ever go down? 
Yeah, because when you I make, mean, we could go up too, but we them. always go. Why do we always go? Why do we always go? Well, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to we're gonna go to the moon, and then we're gonna go to Mars, and then maybe we'll go all this way. There might be something right under us. Yeah. We could. There maybe, might be a whole other solar system right be, under us. We never. There might be like an uh, apartment complex. Even, <laughs> even in, there might be a sun under the sun. Even in science oh, shit. fiction, it, 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 like everybody, you see some a rocket takes off, it just goes left. It doesn't go. We never go down. You know, yeah. and I think this is why yeah, like, the South they, Pole needs a like like a rocket. They, they teach you when you when you're making those like, those little like mobiles of the of the solar system. It's just a flat thing. Yeah. 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 Why don't they ever go yeah. down? Yeah. <laughs> because then then you'd hit a baby. But the because it's based on a mobile mobile mobile. mobile. <laughs> oh like, shit! We're we're. In, she, I say they. Let's bring out Rob Schraub, everybody. Rob Schraub. <laughs> happy he is. I uh, thank you for the chair, Dan. Yeah, well, we do, we do, we try to do right by our, uh, whatever you are. I, I still don't know what I am. Yeah, I, I, you, you, you said you didn't like the chair, we got a chair. You got, I, I, I didn't, I don't, I don't like, like, I, don't like I don't like these tall chairs. I, I don't like them either. Why don't you? You're like all them? about going down, right? The chairs are too high for you. I'm referencing the clip we just watched. Right. <laughs> By the way, in case we play any more clips, I did not want to create the false impression that any clips we play, it, the, then the person in the clip is going to come out. Like right. That's not true at all. We are absolutely tapped. Uh, that's I, it. That's the end of yeah, that. We, we did not right? reach out. With, like No one's coming. That, that's not, we're not going to be like, here's Curtis Armstrong saying, uh, I, I lost my shoe, and then he's going to come out. It's just going to be a clip of him saying he lost his shoe, and then we go back to fucking asking Rob what's wrong with his nipples. Can I? Can, <laughs> Rob, what's uh, wrong with your nipples? They're all fucked up, man. His nipples are dicks. Yeah. <laughs> they do not return my text. <laughs> Oh, like they're assholes, not they're, like They're physical. rude. It's not like they're chapped. They're not like penises. No. That would be were odd. You, were you wearing a bathrobe in that clip? Yeah, he was. Yes. That, that seemed like the kind of thing a guy in a well, bathrobe did, would talk did, about. I, what, what was it? I think it was just like, Dan's like, hey, I'm coming to get you. And I was like, it was like Sunday night. And I was like, oh, fucking A, man. Just going to watch this. And I'm going to eat that. And I'm going to lay here. <laughs> Fuck me! God damn it! And then he makes me go do his show. So do you I was... wear bathrobes around the house? Yeah. Yeah. What, what, Where why? would he wear? Well, them around? Your, I'm just curious what your sleeping gear is. What's your like relaxing Usually gear? Usually just my underwear and a t-shirt. Okay. All right. Is it the underwear you've been wearing all day, or is it a fresh pair That's for the a night? That's a good question. I wear it all day. You wear it all day, and then you go to sleep in it at night. Yeah. Why? Everybody does that, don't you? No. Everyone does that. Don't. Okay. Kumail is weird on this no. one. No. You and then and you then don't put, you I don't, go you to put on nighttime undies. You wear the daytime undies unless you're gonna have. Some we'll be doing laundry forever Why? on Friday if we do that. That means a double underwear. Are you crazy? You can buy underwear. It's so cheap and it lasts and forever. And then throw them away. Like no. disposable underwear? No. no, I didn't say that. Jesus no. No, but, Christ. But all day you've been wearing underwear and then you wear that You've sleep changed. At night? Yeah. Uh, He's, it's I change strange. underwear. Yes. I also will change my socks halfway through the day. You Fuck you. You will? It changes your life. Change your socks at like 2 p.m. Okay. It's like the day just started. This is also one person. No, this, this is, is smart. I'm liking this. Well, this look, is good. I, 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 I change undies and socks. <laughs> Uh-oh, Rob's down. Shrub's doing there a thing. What the fuck go. is going on? I dropped my phone. <laughs> Maybe the chair is not a great idea. Yeah. Uh, this is also a man who takes his shirt off when he goes to the bathroom in a large way. Do you take your pants off? Sometimes no, I take I, my I pants leave, off. I leave my pants on and shit into them shirtless. Oh. Wait, well, that so is, that's you, why you change your underwear you before you go to bed. That's right. There you go. 
This now is you're all coming it. together. Because by it. then, I've already peed in it multiple times, and if I'm lucky, pooped in it twice or thrice. Wait, uh, Camille, Emily, are or you Emily, saying this, you, this you, you, tracks you, Hold up, hold up. I, got, I have control of Oh, shit. Uh -oh. Jeff just uh, pulled rank. Uh, <laughs> so did Shrob. Um, Feisty. You, you, Emily, did you, did you just announce that Kumail Nanjiani <laughs> Great. Of, uh, of movie fame <laughs> takes his I'm not in fame. Takes his, takes his shirt off to go poo? I am 100% announcing that. <laughs> if, that if it's going to be a major one, I get it. Are you, okay. afraid, are you afraid you're going to poop on your shirt? To me, all of... <laughs> no, I just want to be free. I even take my wedding... <laughs> I even take off my wedding ring. He I'm takes like, his wedding this ring is up. me time. <laughs> naked. Just naked. I am naked as the day I was born. If I could, I'd take my fucking contact lenses out. I take off my wedding ring because what we have is not part of this. This is me. Mine stays all the way on. Uh, <laughs> I am a I human being. I use this hand to wipe with, in fact. So I, we're opposite people. Oh, my God. <laughs> em you, Emily, Emily, Emily. Yeah. You yes, wipe dear. with the wedding ring that yeah. I gave you. We gave it to each other. Do you, do you, has, uh, and I'm sorry to do this, but this is a question that affects me. Uh, do you get mad if Kamel forgets to flush? Like, I you... don't forget to okay. flush. Okay. How can you forget to flush? Do you know what the first Hypoth clue is? There's something in there. Do you forget this, to this flush? Is, this, this is a guy that changes outfits to go poo. He's not yeah. going to forget the flush. No. No. Yeah. If okay. I can, he, he goes to Narnia to poop. Like, all he's right. Not forget. All right. Like, oh, what did I forget? Okay. Okay. Do all you right. Forget? Everybody just settle the fuck down. <laughs> all right. So, and I've discussed this on the show before. The last five years, I've been getting forgetting to flush the toilet. Oh. What's going it on? It just started the last five years. <laughs> it just started. I blame Wi-Fi. <laughs> I think there's something in the air that is affecting my brain. Oh, so like the bees were getting yeah. lost. Yeah, it's, that's it's how you the forget. bees in you. The yeah. bees in you not flushing. I read a science paper. It said that bees are getting lost and then some people are forgetting to flush. I think yeah. that Wi-Fi kills ghosts. I think that's why we don't see ghosts anymore. I think you're right. Because there were ghosts, and then they got pulverized Wait. by all this electromagnetic radiation without a bodies to protect themselves. You were saying there were ghosts until the late 90s? Yeah, yeah. absolutely there were. You I saw... Mean, no, I just know. You know why I think there's ghosts? Why? Uh, because of, uh, it's, it is because of Wi-Fi, but here's why. Wi-Fi? Uh, okay. ghosts, okay. ghosts can only walk around, and they can't touch anything. But think about it. We're all on our phones and iPads now, so ghosts are like set. They're like, oh, I'm just gonna watch ABC News with this guy. Uh, so like, they're like, like, like they, they're, ghosts are like, they don't have to be poltergeists anymore. They'll saying... be like, what's this tea kettle doing here? This isn't my wife's tea kettle. They're, they're like, Jesus Christ, that's a great tweet. You so know, you're like they're, they're being entertained now. Yeah, the okay. ghosts are like hooked in because, because what do we know about ghosts? They're they fucking love... petty. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're, they're, they get hooked in by petty shit. Otherwise, yeah. they go to fucking heaven. And they get out of yeah. here. Yeah, they're, they're trapped. Like, when you die, there's a gateway that goes like rise above it and they're like no I'll do the Twitter of fucking supernatural activity which is hang out here and fucking monitor Annoy everything yeah. otherwise I might miss something who's living in my apartment and then and then for everybody to be like hey look it's my dick and balls and the ghost is like fuck yeah okay that's a pretty good theory I that's guess. not a bad theory yeah. so you're saying they're still around they're yeah. just they're, they're, happy. Yeah. they're happy they're happy they're more like us now they're not like who is this living in my house they're like oh it's one of me Oh, yeah. Oh, so they another, recognize, it's, it's game another, recognize game. It's another floaty, yeah, okay. non-person just like drifting through <laughs> the fucking like earth, that. like not knowing where to go. So uh, I have a question. Is it possible that you just uh, flushed it and it's not enough? Great question. Great that, question. That, 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 that's sorry, sorry. That, that, no, no, that, I wanted to go back to a, that, That's too. a very good okay. question. So lately, <laughs> in order, I've been trying really hard. To, to flush? To flush. It's so hard. It's been, it's a lot, like you a dream about it. What's getting in the way? Uh, the poop, forgetting. Like. <laughs> forgetting, is forgetting is getting in the way. And, and, uh, but it's like, I have so much anxiety to the point that I'll be like, like this morning, I'll be driving to work and then I'll stop at a stop sign and went, oh shit. And I'll text Kate going, hey, just in case, flush the toilet before you open. Open the lid. Oh, you close the lid. Yeah. Yeah. Was it Christmas? There's, there's your fucking problem. 
Why are you closing the lid? Keep the lid open and you'll be brushing your teeth and you'll see the poop. the particles get on your toothbrush, man. Oh, yeah. Good call, dude. But the dude dude stays in the toilet also, otherwise. That's a great reason to flush. You're remembering remembering poop particles enough to close it in like a fucking mogwai. Or you could get a window. You could get a window installed in the lid of the toilet. Oh, that could be good. That's a great idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's those, it, dude. One of those fancy glass top toilets? I, yeah, like a fancy <laughs> glass top toilet. Or you could remember to flush like every other fucking human being in the world. You, you know what? You could get a. I bet you there's a lot of people out there that, that forget to flush. And well, I, no, I but think there's it's some. more than that. It's your anxiety about it is now the big deal. Now it's the big deal because, yeah. because I'll, I'll, at the stoplight, I'll text and I'll go, and, it, it, and it, there's not even an ellipses of like, too late. Oh. And I'll be a bum, 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 bum. Oh, that was the, That was the Price is Right yeah. theme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> burp, 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 burp. So it's like how people forget, like, oh, did I leave the oven on or whatever? You're like, yes. I oh, the iron on, I have like that, too. Except I just, I, it's, yeah. It's yeah, that little. happens to me where I think I've left a straightening iron on, but. All, every, every time we leave the house. Okay, that's true. But it, I'd never leave every, it on. <laughs> but you actually are leaving poop in that toilet. Maybe an auto flusher, like I, an air, airport. That toilet. could be good. Trab, also, you have one of the most exotic toilets I've ever seen. It's yeah, like, yeah that's it's, a great it's, toilet. It's one of those Japanese things that talks uh, to you. And it does like yeah. little water fountain yeah, dances. I need to upgrade. I need to upgrade. Yeah, you do. Here, here, I have an idea. Get an upgrade? Automatic? No, don't upgrade. Low, Here's an idea. Downgrade. You're saying Wi-Fi, so you're on your phone, and that's the problem, right? You know about how long it's taking you to poop? Five minutes, ten minutes? What is it? Ooh, Set, what is it? When you have to poo, before you start, set an alarm, and then go... Who? And then when the alarm right. goes off, how is he going to remember to do that? He can't good. remember to flush. Yeah. No, but if he's remembering right. to poop, I bet when you have to go poop at that moment, you're like, I have to flush afterwards, and then you forget in the interim, right? Yes. I'm just glad. Set I, I, an I, alarm. I, I've been feeling bad because as I, I think your brain just degenerates and there's like pixels that get removed from the JPEG, you know. Right. And for for me, it's I keep forgetting Jeff Bridges' name and like like stuff like that. Like I'm like, who the fuck was that? Like, it's like just random people that you should like. I'll spend. F- I'll be going. It's not like uh, 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 and everyone's just waiting for me and I'm like, no, nah, no. Nah. And I don't. I know that all I have to say is the bad guy from Seven. But I won't say it because that'll be weakness. Like, I, I, like, because then they'll go Kevin Spacey. Uh-huh. I'm like, I'm not old. Right. Like, like, so I, I'll just sit there. And I, I forgot the name of the bad guy from Seven. Everyone has to wait until I forge my neural pathway back. Yeah. Like, but I think I, I'd good. rather, I'd rather forget well, celebrities' names than forget that my well, shit. Well, I don't is know. Out. His only has one victim. This is, yeah, this is really, Kate. really. I mean, I thought I'd share something with you that you know. I mean. With, with the audience, but I mean, like, my, my real question is, does Kate have a right to be mad at me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only because you're a grown-up. Okay, Especially well... a new problem. Well, she has a right to be mad, but it's going to do about as much good as being mad at the weather. All I right, mean, so... Like, well, no, here's the issue. It, it's, it, Emily brought up something that's interesting. If this was the thing from the very beginning, when you guys met, she's like, this guy's great, I think I'm going to be falling for him, he never flushes, right? She could get past that. Then she should be... Then that's part of the equation. But yeah. now she's with you, and you spring this on her yeah. many years into the relationship. Because you can't even do that. You knew I was like this when you no. met me. You can't even do that. She could say, you changed. You used to flush. We're changed. But we're all changing. We're all dying. And ideally, we're dying together in partners. But what like, if there's something ideally. wrong with me? What if there's something with wrong your brain? with There is. You're there's not something wrong with all of us. We're burning. Carbon-based life forms. We're melting. But you can't make fun of that. Yes. Yeah, you can. Watch. We've been doing it for a while. It's been going great. No, but I think this is just like your new... Your thing that I'm thing. trying out. Yeah, like... <laughs> For a while, he walked around with a little box of Captain Crunch. Yeah, that was like, oh, oh, Look who came Less to the set. The bathrobe right. thing, and the now I sh- don't flush. We've, yeah. esta- we've established that uh, Rob doesn't flush. Dan is pooping his pants currently. Uh, Kumail takes his shirt off like a fucking lunatic. I take well, my pants not... off. And then pretend Why? like everyone does it, which is thank I, you for validating. I want to get back to that. I was of... stunned to find out everyone doesn't do it. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's because it's like for me, it's like like I've never done it, but I always think about it when it's too late when I'm sitting down. I'm like, damn, I should have taken my shirt off. So I love the idea of you watching Forensic Files and you're like, I love you, I love you too. And more popcorn. Oh, the meow yum, meow bagel is good. Deal. And then and then Kumail's like like a couple minutes later, he's like. <sighs> He's, he stands up, 
He pauses forensic files. He takes his shirt off like a Mountain Dew commercial. And, and, and Emily just knows. Because yeah. he just walks off. And it's like, yeah. I guess it's, I guess it's going to be three minutes. Yeah, and I did find out because he would walk back into the room putting on his shirt. Right. <laughs> I, like, I love that. He's like John Henry. He's like, I'm going to go beat a steam engine. I don't want to bring any, any of that battle back with me. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's true because I'm a human being, I'm civilized, but when I'm sitting on the toilet, I'm a fucking animal. <laughs> I'm going to go slay a dragon, and I, I'm, yeah. when I come back, I'm still going to be a white knight. Like, I'm yeah. not going to have blood all over me. Do you me. do that in public? I don't poop in public. Well, no, but like at work and stuff. I'm sure you, you've pooped at work, right? Oh, no. I, if, if it's a trailer, yeah. yeah, I take everything off. You take everything off in your trailer at work? Yeah. That is so weird. You, stri- you, you strip down, you take off your socks, socks and stuff? Socks, that's a great question. Yeah. Like you're a clone. Like you're a, cl- a Logan's Run clone or something. Like you're, yeah. I Logan's Run isn't Wait, a good Wait, you reference. get totally nude, every, even if you're in a, on a shoot in a trailer. You yeah. Get, you, you get down to the fucking nitty gritty. Brass fucking text. Yeah, what about I, an airplane now? Great question. Ooh. I've never pooped in an airplane. Yeah. You really should. It's great. No, it's not good. What? But theoretically, you've taken some very long flights. You've never had the... Although I do go in, onto a plane, and the first thing I do is I go and change my underwear in the airplane back. I, I go and change. <laughs> That's a good. You, you, this is why you're so fucked. Like this is all genius so level weird. moves. This is all amazing shit. No. You I must like. My- you have the best. You must love it every day of your life. <laughs> this is all optimized. It's all good. He doesn't have a fucking sweaty underwear going to bed. What do, you do with the, what do you do with the dirty underwear on the What plane? do you do with this dirty question. underwear? What's the, so now you just... I donate it to the orphans. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... I... <laughs> you're like, you're like Ebenezer Scrooge. What, what day is it, my boy? It's Christmas! Go pick me up a... You, go pick go me up, me up the a, biggest a goose, goose! With this? <laughs> with Delta Miles? Uh, I've only worn it for four hours. Also, doesn't sleep in underwear, wears specific pajamas. I don't, I cannot sleep in underwear. So if I'm on a plane and I have to take a nap, I'm going into the bathroom, taking off my underwear, not putting on another underwear, coming back and sitting in my seat to take a nap. Then when, before it's time to land, I'm going into the bathroom, I'm putting on underwear, because now I'm ready for the day. This I is making me feel like I have a hidden superpower, because I feel like, well, you have a superpower, which is like, super sensitivity to your underwear being used. I hate underwear. I have the opposite. I'm like juggernaut, and you're like the, the, <laughs> the girl with the has to wear the gloves in the X-Men. Yeah, like, yeah. Or otherwise she'll kill people. Yeah, that's right. But we're both powerful, but like... In I different mean, ways. I'm like, it's been six days. I should change my underwear. <laughs> Because I read an article about it. <laughs> You're just like cutting it off your body. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, someone just reminded. I, 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 I saw a zeppelin in the sky. That was a certain. I, I don't know. I um, hate. I've always hated underwear. I probably didn't start wearing underwear till I was probably about 14. I delayed it as long as I could. I probably have 50 pairs of underwear that are currently in rotation. Well, and this is a good question, I think, for the board. What is the oldest pair of underwear you own? Oh. Because it's a disgusting Nathan. thing to think about. Nathan? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You, do you name your underwear? Not name it, but like, no, no, the longest, like the oldest pair. She didn't say name them. She said, yeah. uh, what, what's the oldest pair? I don't know. They're all kind of, they, they look the same to me. Well, see, oh, that's so racist. We're lucky in it. <laughs> uh, While we think about it, should we bring out Brandon Johnson and find out what his underwear is? Yeah. Uh, Get used to it. How how uh, uh, what's your uh, what's your uh, what's your poop uh, problem? Uh, but- dirty night pants. <laughs> it's a dirty white pants. <laughs> dirty night pants. Are you doing foreigner? Is that what you're doing? No. I'm just I'm I, I love this idea of such elegance, of changing your underwear throughout the day like that. Yeah, man. Right. So well, you you agree with the rest of us in the middle of the bell curve that he's like Downton Abbey style? It's not like, good. 
Why is it not good? Because I'm it's, married to you. It's I will strange. tell you. It's, awesome. it's just a lot of it's a lot of laundry to manage. Doesn't matter. You're worth it. Yeah, man. God damn, you're worth it. It's on some Rick Ross shit for real. Yeah. I just it is some rapper baller type like I only wear this white T-shirt and I throw that shit away type yeah, shit. That's like, legit. F- Floyd Mayweather never wears the same socks twice. So I'm talking you know, about. I, I did yeah. some math. For the price that most people spend on like coffee weekly, you could definitely have brand new socks every day of the week. That sounds like a horrible infomercial. <laughs> and that's why I've come up with Sock a Day. I. Are you telling me all I have to do is fill out paperwork and socks will come up to my house? I'm telling you, I'll fill out half of it. Oh, That's I will never be alone again. You will never be alone again. <laughs> I'll have all these socks to keep me company. <laughs> Hello, Brandon. <laughs> well, what have we learned over 300 episodes? That it's okay... If I forget to flush. No, yeah. no, no. That's not been the that takeaway. Is not a That's what if not a I? Uh, but the texting and saying, "Honey, I'm sorry, I don't remember if and I did or not." That's often, kind. That's kind. Well, but how often when you're texting, or how often is it? What percentage of the time have you not flushed? And, and how, what percentage have you flushed? And you're almost a hundred. Yeah. yeah. It's all almost a hundred. Almost a hundred. So what if you take like a golden string, right? You tie it to the to the flusher. And you will put a loop on the other end. When you sit down on the toilet, you put the looped end if around he remember, one toe. If he could remember oh, to put a string on his finger, he could remember to remove poop out of the if room. If you see Stop. a golden string on your toilet, you will remember to put a That's string right. on your thing. Right. Let's put a string let's, on your let's thing. Not shoot, let's not shoot From down the makers people's of ideas. Day. Let's, yes, and. String on your lead. thing. String on your thing's good. You could also say it as you do it. That helps me when I like am unplugging stuff. I go, I have unplugged. The flat iron. You're like me. So oh you yeah. Say, now that's I a good idea. I think I here's my, so that's I, a good. I, I that's a helpful that thing to say. say. A rope coming down from a re- really well anchored thing in your With ceiling. pulleys. It's it's uh like you shape it into a thing that slips over your neck. Like right. So it's it's hanging. You're not gonna forget. You, you, it's gonna not. be in your way. Not the way so. to get it out of your way is you slip it over your neck. You take a poop. Yeah. You get up. If you you could forget everything. You could forget to wipe. You start walking away. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, what am I? Oh, what was I? I must have been so preoccupied with the events of the day. Oh, look at this. There's a toilet full of shit here. I'm naked. I, uh, my you... wedding ring's gone. How can you wedding. not write as you get up from the toilet, go for the flush? Is that not part of muscle memory? Here's by this what point? I've learned. Here's what I'm t- going to take away from this conversation. Tonight. As you're putting your shirt back on, just flush the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> from now on, from on. now on, I'm going to get totally nude every time I poop, no matter where I am. If it's I, if, freeing. You're going to love it. But I'm also going to stop flushing. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, okay. what's, your, what's your weird poop stories? <laughs> Ladies don't have those. Um, I had to. Oh. Okay. I had to dump in a Ziploc bag once when we lived in Brooklyn. Yeah. Whoa. That's legit. That's some Iceland shit. <laughs> Hurricane Sandy? What, what happened? <laughs> or, or weirdest charity event ever. Well, probably like New was Year's that, Eve. Was, was nice that man a, uh... said he would give me $75. <laughs> <laughs> so was that's where that $75 came <laughs> from. <laughs> I didn't know I'd be Oscar nominated one day. I, 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 I thought I was at the top of my game. Yeah. Was, 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 was this also a five I ever spent? Was, was this a deleted scene from The Big Sick? <laughs> we do have a poop scene. That yeah, is true. We do. Uh, no, I, the, our toilet was just out, and they were like, "We're not getting to you for days." And we lived in a dangerous neighborhood, and it was late at night, and I couldn't leave. So I thought Ziploc bag. That's, that's that a rough-ass neighborhood. With what two size? Like the shit. court size? Like the. Sam- oh, I'm Sa- talking gallon. Sandwich size or the big, the big daddy? You gotta go the largest size. You cannot no, she pooped into that. a little Coke bag. <laughs> <laughs> I did a dime bag's worth of shit. Yeah, she that did day. a dime bag of yeah. shit. <laughs> that was some good you shit. You have a little logo on him from her cartel. Yeah. <laughs> the cops are like, who's this yeah. scorpion person? Her poop actually has a blue hue to it. Yeah. <laughs> did you make I sure the, say, the uh, air was all out of it before yes, you closed I did it? A, I did a pretty good Why? job. Why? <laughs> are you trying to keep it fresh? No, but I did. The instinct was there. Why? Yeah. Oh, just get all the air out. I didn't, <laughs> why? I tell you why, because I didn't want it to pop. 
<laughs> Undo it. Right. Yeah. Well, you're not like blowing into it. It's not. Yeah. Are you sure? You take your shirt off. Let me have my thing. Wait. <laughs> did you did you save it until you found a toilet to flush it no, down? No. Here's what I did. I put the bag. She woke me up. I double bagged it three times. Put nice. it into That's another bag. Bagged. And then. <laughs> or if only there was a word bag. that met twice but three times. You are so high and mighty for a man who has to get naked to shit. Uh, That's the yeah. opposite of what you did. I am clean. The clothes are far away from the shit. You're shitting into a bag. And yet I'm touching you with it. Double bagging and it yet I'm three touching times. you with it. Oh, no. uh, and then I went down to our dumpster, which was behind the building, and got rid of the evidence. You were living together at nice. the time? Oh, yeah, we were married. So, so during, during this period where the toilet was out, what, what on earth was Kumail pooping in? Oh, I think you pooping. were at work or something. You weren't there. He, he, he might just, have been out he of town. He just bought a first-class ticket on United. <laughs> <laughs> so he yeah. Did. Do his biz. Uh, yeah, was... you weren't there for whatever reason. You were not home. Um, and it was just not the kind of neighborhood you could, like, walk to the right. closest, like, As a guy who to. listens to too many true crime podcasts with Cody, like, I, if I get a text, if I ever got a text from Cody that said, had to take a shit, water's out, shit in a bag. <laughs> Actually... Shit on the floor. Like <laughs> instead of leaving the house ever, I'd be like, "Good, good." Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It was late I, at night. I, I don't think that's healthy, but I know that would be my response. I'm like, "Good, good." Just oh shit. yeah. N next time, don't leave the bedroom. Yeah. No, it's, it was a bad neighborhood. It was yeah. pretty common. If you opened the dumpster, it was full of bags of shit. Just bags and bags of shit. Everybody was doing that over there. <laughs> so somehow it's okay to leave the house and go behind the building. The building. You remember the back door was like that enclosed, oh, sure, yeah, yeah, dumpster space. I knew what I was doing. Yeah. No. <laughs> Wait, I have more questions. I've thought of more questions. Yes. So you wiped, I assume? Of course. And where did the toilet paper It went come? in the back. Okay. It went in, yeah, yeah, 100%. He's so excited. I got rid of all the evidence. <laughs> so you would wipe and put it into the bag? Yeah. Of shit or a separate bag? Same bag. So it was just one bag with the poop? Someone who found that was like, oh, I know what happened here. <laughs> this is act one and two and three. Yeah. You ever see like a public toilet or like a workplace toilet where there's like a conversation going on because there's something going wrong with the toilet or so somebody will put up a sign, they put all the effort into it, aerial true type font, a piece of typing paper above the thing, it says like, but they just, it's like, don't flush tampons. It, what well, have they, you. Yeah. would that they would be that specific because mm. then you'd know exactly what not to flush. Ah. But I'm saying like when they get amorphous and they're like, don't flush non-waste or something like that and then there's like so then people get ballpoint pens and go you you so you mean like toilet paper yeah. like everyone and this turns into a reddit forum like yeah. like it's, it's like, like people are like no idiot they mean what are they I'm like well what do you mean like 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 it, but it's legitimate questions i'm like what do you what is this a time bomb like what am i shitting in yeah that's tough that's a tough one. If, we you're, had, if you're flushing something, that has become waste. Like, no matter what it well, is. Well, that's, so. well, that's what you would write on this sign. If I am flushing this, right. it has. It already so I can put I a baby shark death. in the toilet. And, yeah. Yeah, like. I worked in an office in Chicago of all therapists, and for whatever reason, random turds kept showing up on the, on the women's bathroom floor for weeks at a time. How do you know they were random? <laughs> They were That's different people point. each time. Oh, really? We couldn't figure out. We just called it the phantom shitter. We couldn't figure out if it was like falling out of a pant right. leg or if it was intentional. It was a, not a happy workplace. No, I'm really fascinated with that stuff. Like, yeah. I, I, because I, I think it's like an eruption of like. Uh, There's some kind of. It's primal. sort of like shoplifting. Yeah. It's, it's like an urban phenomenon, like among people who are like, like, like. There's one thing. It's, it's like, oh, you saw that Canadian video where the woman just shits on the floor of the yes. restaurant. There's like, but I was, I saw that and I was like. There's no mystery to this. She's asking to go to the bathroom. She's infuriated. She has. She and then she. And I, I. Then I found out later. I was totally right. Totally nailed it. I know my shitting people, and uh, but but w it fascinates me when people are like, I lived in an apartment complex, and for six weeks, every three days, like in the dryer. Yes. Or so, and, and it was like it's some serial yeah. like person that's like. There, it's that, that's so There's fascinating some kind of to me. Either I think some form of rage that you can only really express through your shit. But it's and amazing that's that targeted tough. because I, I have a. You know when you get you're so angry you can only shit it out. <laughs> I don't, but I, clearly someone that I were and I we all kept being like, oh I hope no one thinks it's me. Right. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I I left that job and I was like, please let the phantom shitter continue, <laughs> or else it's on me. And the phantom shitter did. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, if right. You quit, and then that person stopped. It was just. A... 
elaborate revenge on you. There's like 35 people who just like, oh, Emily, yeah, I saw that movie. It was pretty good. She shit on the floor at that one place. We That's like when the, when the killer, when they arrest the wrong guy, and then yeah. the and then the, the there's like that period of time where the real killer is like, oh, do you, oh, I could fucking go out, hang up my jersey, and they're like, no, I gotta kill more gotta people, and killing. then they're like, all right, you can leave jail, guy. But there is some kind of like modern, like it's like getting your hands dirty in a world where we don't really do that anymore. I'm starting to kind of get it, I guess. Maybe. I mean, I, it, I that, that's what's because you know that the person who takes a shit in their apartment building's dryer every Wednesday is not also a serial killer. Yes. Like they're not. They're probably not torturing animals or something. It's it's like it's such a weird pinprick like magma eruption. I I, I that's what I fascinates would, me. I it's like picture this killed. person like go like the Ally McBeal, you know, like going yeah. to work as a legal clerk and being like, and, and in conclusion, my PowerPoint is and, she's like, and they're like, good together. job, Daphne. And she's yeah. like, you got it. Moving on up, moving. On. And then the full moon comes up yeah. and she's just like, I have to do this or else I can't succeed. <laughs> And it's like all of her, the ghost of her father going like, women mean nothing. And she's like, I'll shit you into a dryer. Turn you on high heat. And then you just hear the thudding going. Dun, 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 dun. Is it oh, weird that God. I always picture a woman when it's like the phantom pooping? Is it, I, I think I, because we're not allowed to express our anger any other way. It's, it's, again, right. I equate it with shoplifting. Yeah. It's like a female thing. You can let me off the hook. Like only no, you. if I you will weren't not. here and I said Thank that, you. I would get that's right. fucking lynched. Yeah, that's right, women. But also, that woman remembers to do it once a week. Yeah, it's self care in a way. <laughs> How like, can hey, you not things are so remember. intense. What are you doing? Oh, you know, I take five minutes every morning. I do Pilates. I do Pilates. Um, I, I shit in the therapist. dryer every Wednesday. I shit in the dryer. And, you know, just sort of hang out with friends. And sometimes friends. I'm bad and I'll have, like, a bagel. <laughs> and then I shit in the dryer. <laughs> All right. I feel like, I feel like everybody, everybody's like, oh, you, you talk too much about shit, just a little too much. Like, like, ah. but uh, and, and what we really want. I have a gripe. I have an issue. What is it? Do you guys have this gripe? No. Okay, listen up. <laughs> Just Uber, guessing. Lyft, what's up with the air conditioning? You know, what's up with the AC? Really, you get in the car, and it's fucking summer, hot summer, hottest summer in record here. You get in there, and it's a hot box. It's fucking hot, hot, hot. And, uh, and the first thing you go, you go, uh, do you want the AC on? Or like, yeah, motherfucker! <laughs> Put the AC on! Probably to save money. Yeah, I know, but come on, give me a break. Do you, do you want the AC on? So, put it on. And then like, when I, like Friday night, I'm driving with this person, and then she... Oh, you talk, oh, I, I, Uber I thought Lyft, he meant yeah. the mechanics of the no, fucking no, no. car. I'm like, could you be when more of a baby? When you're saying you mean riding. I, you mean, no, I, uh, yeah, you mean Lyft and Uber drivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what the fuck? Yes, the yes. You yes. get in the back and it's just. Do you I, want, I was like, what a baby. Do you want it to be, to why, uh, do you want to be sweating or in, in your back sticking to the back of my shitty you're car? You're paying me yeah. money. Um, do you want to be comfortable? Or... Yeah, or do you want to roll down the window and get the fucking air in your face? How about when you get in a car and it's like you get like an SUV with a group and then you're like, it's fucking hot back here. And then you're like, oh, hey, oh, you're gonna you, do, you do a million things. Like there's such a fucking like amount of chuffa. You got four people working on a problem back there. 18 yeah, dials, you're everybody. You're doing and this, then you're doing finally, that. only when it needs to involve Capitan, you go like, can we, can, is it air, anything air oriented, anything? And, and it's always the first response is always like just victim blaming, like, like, like just like, 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 like I, it, it, it's already on. Like they'll just say something that makes you feel fucking insane. Like it's already, it's, it should work. It's already on. Like, this is what was, this shit was happening to me on Saturday. So I get in the car and I do the, whew, really hot one today. <laughs> Which is... You're trying to ramp in. Yeah. I'm trying to... And, and then they go, oh, would you like the AC on? And I go, <clears throat> yeah, if it's all right. <laughs> I, I'll sometimes go, like, I, they go like, do you want the AC? I'll go, you know what? Who am I to say yes? I, I, I'll, I'll go like, it's, it's Los Angeles. You know what? No. I'll roll down the window, get on the freeway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then after a while, I'll go like, genius. Like, okay, now let's say uh, let's try some that AC. That weird wah wah sound happens when you yeah. let oh, one yeah. window down. That's a and fun then, time. And then and then she she she's like, oh, 
I, I okay, I'll put it on, but I, it gets so cold in here. It's like a fucking 122 degrees out. People are dying outside. I From wish the there heat. was a way to measure. Don't you wish there was a way to measure at the end of all of our lives? Don't you just wish it could be like Monopoly or something where we could, geez, little things like how many of the people that succeeded or failed, like, like to the extent that their success or failure had anything to do with money, um, like how much, it's like, like I just want to like be there at the fucking like St. Peter's Gate or whatever where we all tabulate and go like, yeah, you know what? Every time you fucking like, 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 w didn't buy popcorn when you were in line and you made your date buy it, like, you didn't. It made you poorer. Like you didn't. Like, like, or this, like, your your laundromat putting that label on the machine and then making this hubcap into the bathroom key. Five dollars. Like, you didn't get rich from doing any of this shit. Like I want. Well, or, but, but this but is what she. Know. This, is, this <laughs> is what she was doing. She was like, okay, I'll turn it on. And then what I saw, she was slowly turning it off, like slowly oh, turning it yeah. off. Oh, yeah. And I went, okay. And I rolled down my window, and then she turns around and goes, what's going on? Do we want AC or fresh air? Ah. I'm like, Oh, yeah, you shouldn't no. turn AC? on the, You shouldn't open the window when the AC's on. That's an insane person thing to do. If it's not cold it enough, it's actually Why the don't smartest you, like, thing maybe to do. Maybe use your mouth and like request things well. like a human. <laughs> when somebody says, "Hey, do you want AC?" and I go, "Yes," and you slowly turn it off. Well, she was that she was dishonest. cold. She gets too cold. Also, I'll say that people who drive Lyft and Uber don't make that much money. No, they money don't make. The they, they make very they little money from ACs. That actually might actually helps them pay their rent. And, and it stuff. saves oh, a don't wear on tear on the car. Fuck you yeah. guys, fuck you! Fuck you, bring a sweater! Thank fuck you, you, I just wanna say, I'm I chilling. No, no, I'm it's no, no. you can't wear a sweater. No, uh, it's the, the no. hottest summer in record. How much, you gotta change your underwear halfway through the day. How much <laughs> fucking money do you save by not using AC? Enough. I wanna see the spreadsheet of it, that's what I'm saying. I wanna uh, see at the uh, end of everyone's there. How much town, through town, you actually do spend a lot of money on AC. Is it $30 a week? But what on is the it? highway, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Is well, it, it depends is on it how three much three cents an hour. Is it, is it is it four dollars a, a month? Use like, your mouth like a human being. Yeah. Use your mouth like a human Most being. Most of your I complaint did. is I shouldn't have to ask for AC. Yes. Yes. We'll ask for it. I never. I shouldn't have to ask for AC on the hottest summer in the history of the world. But it's not a problem when you have a mouth you can use. And you do. Yes, it is a problem. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It, it is a problem. It's just a thing that happens. You, you know what you do? It's a problem. Rob, when you get in the car, if it's too hot inside, you just do a Kumail and get naked. Okay. <laughs> no, so oh, yeah, yeah, if, you're so dry, if you're driving a hot she drops, box she drops us off and up. she goes, don't forget my five stars. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring on Steve Agee, everybody. Steve Agee. Oh, he didn't want to come on stage. Oh, you back there, Steve? The more you reach out, the more he'll hit you and with us. Steven Ag. Thank you. I was backstage texting Rob links to remote control toilets. Yes. Hey. I'm gonna save my it's marriage. Real. Wait, you Wait on Wi-Fi. Gonna laugh, you can... gonna laugh my way to the bank. Yeah. I'll you send you a link Wait, to how a... are you going to the bank from that? You didn't invent uh, that. Uh, <laughs> so other people invented yes. it. I also no. sent a link to a toilet that flushes as soon as you stand up. That's oh, nice. Can That's you hack point. other people's toilets and then make them flush when they're the sitting on them? In the description, it said, no more fighting over forgotten flushes. Hey, look at you. <laughs> All right. You should get it before they go out of business because nobody else has this problem. <laughs> Where hack into your neighbor's <laughs> toilet and just flush it all night. <laughs> so many problems. And, and for every toilet, doesn't need to be on Wi-Fi. He, he also, he also laughs, texted me. Laughs. For Emily, there's a, there's a new Ziploc crap sack. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a separate there little any... pocket for toilet paper. Yeah, you need a separate <laughs> little pocket. One for tampons. Is there anybody in our audience who could crowdsource this? Like, try to try to restrain yourself. Like, if you really feel like you have something concise and from an expert place that we can defer to, that, that like, like, for, like, I really want to know the data on the cost of air conditioning. Oh my God. It's been yes. myth busted. I'm not kidding. Like, yes. if you, it's you, been you, myth busted. Yes. You, you could, like, flip this. Is for it me. as much as what you would get? What was the result? 
on it, Mythbusters. You save money by not using the AC. Yeah, I know you save more money by not air conditioning the car than if you don't, but I just want to know what the scale of it is. Yeah, like, like if, is it, is, if you save $5 worth of gas... How often? Like, just driving me from one side of the that's town. Well, it's not going to be $5. Worth it. It's significant. Yeah, so get a $5 tip. It's an option. I, I, yeah, but I, they, I don't, just, they don't say... They don't get the tip? They don't see who tips. Yeah, how will they know pre that you're going to tip? Before is they're there, is there, is no, there no, no, Nobody's no, raising no, their no. hand. Or they, like, right, after chair drivers. Here's what you do, though. You get in the car with a $5 oh, bill. Oh, so so AC. Oh, there's somebody, okay, do you, want, do you want to just come up here and give us a little bit of information from your perspective? We won't, uh, we won't, we won't attack or uh, hurt I'm you. You should take a five... <laughs> what, what's your name, sir? I'm Christian. Christian. Okay. Uh, uh, do you I'm want atheist. to tell? You don't have to tell us anything about yourself that you you don't want us to know. But stop it, you fucking. Right, give us your. I love you. <laughs> give us your background. Why why you might have uh, right. knowledge about this? So I uh, went to UC San Diego. Oh. Yeah, and uh, it's very hot there. Why? Yeah, it's hot there, and I got a degree in computer engineering, and now I'm. In, Uber driver. So. Heck oh, okay. yeah, you are. There's How some, many some degrees? Good <laughs> intersection of expertise. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you can you can see who tips you. <laughs> oh, that was not the. <laughs> Thank you. I've been wanting to know this. Thank you. <laughs> Wait. I don't know. Are you do. Did you just do the world's most perfect joke, or are you? <laughs> Do you, do, you, do you, so, how much uh, money does so for okay. the AC for the AC? I mean, I guess you can you can save a little bit of cash. But See, so you were actually here bit. to answer the other but question. Let the man who wants to sit around in a car that's hot and be an animal for an entire week to save? This was up. not why you were brought up. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. We His opinion on whether or not it's good to be in heat. We all agree opinions. it's bad to be in heat. He's <laughs> he's equating it with exactly. Let him but speak. He, There's nine people up here. He's he's saying, uh, if I could talk over you for a second, <laughs> let him talk for fuck's sake. <laughs> all right, go ahead. I, I don't know what else you want. Oh, me to okay. Say. Uh, <laughs> well, here's what I heard you say. It's what Shrab is saying, which is basically yeah. like I, I like like it, it, the savings on air conditioning are yeah, probably it's, it's, it's in minimal. comparison it's to minimal. the Thanks, jeopardy. Wait, you, of, do you know that? You're just saying that because now you're on the spot and we asked right. you a different question than the one you thought you were answering. No. What just... <laughs> All right. He went to... He was doing a funny joke to, to open. He gained everyone's esteem. And... I don't and, think but, he was doing a joke. I think he thought that was the question. Was yeah, well, whether or not... You can it, tell us I wish we could someone... Well, there's some way we could find out joke. what his intentions were. Yeah. <laughs> All Let's right. Roll thank, the clip. thank you, Christian. Yeah. Yeah. I, thank I, you, I, Christian. It, does anyone know how much money you It can doesn't save? save a lot of money, but these are people who don't make a lot of money, and a lot of the money they make goes to pay the costs of them doing their job. Yep. I, Which is what? Which is paying for the car, paying for the gas for the car, paying for maintenance That's their the job? Car. That's a big yes. part of their job. Their job is to pay for the car. Yes. What does that's what their office is. Do you if think this is funny? Is their job? Spencer, if we fill a it was balloon with our people. awareness that people who work everyday jobs are unfairly paid, can we? do we have to be so distracted by that when we're discussing this other thing? Well, like, that's the reason why you're uncomfortable, though. I, and I agree that being uncomfortable is not a good thing, but it's just the thing that has a reason. Right, but... I understand do, the do reason. Do we have any idea oh, okay. how much air conditioning costs Does an Uber know? driver out of their overhead? Do I would we know love if it's it if Here's my month. biggest problem. The surprise, oh, you want the air conditioning on? As sweat is just dripping off of everybody's face. It's like if you're a restaurant and you get water because people are usually thirsty when they're eating their French fries. So for you, you if, she, for if, water. if she had been like, hey, I'm, I know it's very hot. I didn't have it on because I'm saving money because I'm not super rich. You'd be okay with Is that it okay? Do you want the AC or not? So she does a little guilt trip to you before... Before you oh, do that it. would be awesome! Right. I <laughs> Kevin, ten percent. Right. Kevin Day just came down with the data. Thanks, Kevin. It's, 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 it's ten. Well, Kevin Day, everybody. Uh, our, our ten percent. Ten percent. Ten percent fuel efficiency is lost, Kevin, by having the air on. That's 
significant. Ten percent feel ten percent of anything is significant. Yeah. yeah. Literally on the way here, we we're low on gas, and you were like, "Let's turn off the AC." <laughs> that is what I did. <laughs> I did that tonight. That's right. On the I way did there. that on the way here. I'm a big I AC had, turn off. I had a friend <laughs> so stupid when we were 16 that he was like, "We running out of gas. We got to turn off the radio." <laughs> I've done that. I've done that. Well, it depends it? on what song's playing. <laughs> All right. So, rideshare operators within the sound of our voice. We, we're in desert cities where it gets to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Like, we need to have this conversation. Among the many things that are unfair to drivers, their 10% of their overhead, as opposed to someone in Minnesota, is like, it's an important thing. And we're feeling it first here, having the conversation, and uh, I'm sure it'll be fixed by next week. Thanks yeah. for this podcast. <laughs> Solve that. But 10%'s a fucking lot. So I much. Never, I would have always assumed, when I heard my parents talking about like, oh, we're gonna get, you know, don't, don't turn up the, I was, in my head, I was always like, yeah, and we should always eat generic peanut butter because of hospital bills. Like, like, I was like, I bet this doesn't add up to anything. 10%'s a lot. There's it's also a tenth this. Of 100%. There, <laughs> there's also this thing where uh, Wait, what did you people say? who did are doing the share, sort of in the share movement, are compromising themselves. So when you hear somebody ask for them to compromise themselves a little bit more, it kind of sparks a nerve. While at the same time, if you're going to do the job, you should probably have a cool cabin. I get that, but I also get the like. We can't ask these slaves to fry our burgers well, faster. Well, to be clear, we, we should definitely ask for it to be cold. We should want it to be cold. But while doing that, just understand why it is the way it is. I mean, all the yeah. feelings are completely great. Yes. This is good. This is good. Let's roll the clip. That's great. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, should we, should what we, if we, it cuts to a sh clip of us having this exact conversation <laughs> a year ago? What? We Maybe already you did all this? Right. It. We haven't solved it. Oh my Maybe, God. I mean, part of the reason to have the conversation is because maybe a, a ride service would say, hey, we're adding a button that for $3 extra for 10% of the thing, you, the, the driver will receive an alert that says, please cool down your cabin as you roll up. Oh, if I was a driver, I would never pick that person up. <laughs> I would be like, that guy's an asshole. No, <laughs> You're telling me ahead of time? Like, I they... like it a certain way, so... <laughs> Come correct when you come to me. I'd be like, bye. <laughs> come correct. <laughs> that must be nice. I, I like, like that you'd be that picky, but like if people really wanted it that badly, if you live in Arizona and every time you take a rideshare service, your big fucking problem is that unlike a cab, which r runs on a medallion service, you climb in and it's fucking overhead paid by the corrupt, you know, medallion service. Cabbies like, do this too. It's, it's cool as hell. Uh, and then every time a lift comes, it's like hot and you have to have the conversation. Like, if, if I don't know what the statistics are. The next thing Kevin Day needs to come down is go like, here's how many people have a problem with like being, <laughs> like when they get a thing. I, I've always noticed it. I've always noticed that conversation. I've always found it like kind of like crazy and absurd. I find it way less absurd and like, 10% of anything is like huge. Yeah. So now that can reduce my outrage by at least 10%, if not 90. Because if I get in and I'm like, it's hot, it feels like empathy for the poor. <laughs> like, like, I, like, like, like now, I can, now I can fucking use that heat to make me stronger as a liberal. Great. <laughs> now I have everything. Plus, I have a Tesla, so yeah. I don't... I don't mm. Unless I, I'm super drunk, I don't need your hot-ass car. I learned about this from cabs. I got in, like, four cabs in a row, and that's what they were doing, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I looked it up, and they were like, saves a lot of money. And I was like, I guess if that's your job. Yeah. And then uh, I never did this, did this uh, issue. I remember in the Milwaukee days, like, you know, when we would, like, fill up our tank a dollar at a time, and they'd yeah. be like, we're not going to make it to Dale's house in time to get drunk, and they'd be like, we're going to turn off the air conditioner, yeah. and I was, but I always wondered, like, what does that mean per mile? Now we know. 10%. Hey, who wants to listen to the time that Open Mike Eagle taught me to drop my mama fucking crutch? <laughs> oh, I, okay, nobody. I right, do. Fuck you. Or... Oh, we, we also have we, we have some hits on here. There's there's Rob Schraub's Oh Shit Cheops. Yeah. All right, uh, have fun for a minute and thirty five seconds. <laughs> All right, please welcome to the stage the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Damn Motherfucking. Shit! Fuck!
fucking shit! Shit! Right. Fucking shit, man! Oh, shit! Oh, my ass! Let's, let's, let's bring Game Master Spencer Crittenden out. Game Master! Fucking shit! <laughs> my th- my thumbs are greasy from the all those chips that I eat. <laughs> I eat a lot of chips. All right, I don't have anything else. <laughs> chips are delicious. I had some chips before I came here. All right, hey, so I I, I think we'll, I think we'll do things in hashtag in... chips. <laughs> Why would you hashtag chips? <laughs> I think the, the, the frustrating thing is that if you back it up and you play it really slowly, you can hear, as I'm getting interrupted, I was like, that was 2011, and I'm like, I think we should do more for women's rights. Like, <laughs> like I'm getting interrupted in the course yeah. of like, great things. Like, I'm like, I have an idea for a show called Rick and Morty at one point, but it got delayed by three years because of that bit. It's all Uh, Cheop's fault. uh, Chris, can we play Cheapy Peepy Gate? (laughs) Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. Cheapy Peepy Gate. Cheapy Peepy Gate. This is important. Chris with the sweet switch up. Came over today to, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna test drive my iPad Pro to see if he wants to get one himself. I have, <clears throat> I have two of them. Two. I, I I I got the big one and decided it was too heavy. I like the smaller one. Well, maybe if I like it, I could buy one of yours off of you. I could buy one. He needs both of them. I'm, I don't have enough respect for my money to. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather have my iPad Pro back and just you you go get your own. But okay. I, I could mean, have done. What that. am I going to do with that uh, that can. that that fair market price for a twelve point nine inch iPad Pro that I charge my friend? Uh, just give me like blue book value, and then I'm gonna have the, I'm gonna have like a stack of twenty dollar bills that I do what with that's not gonna be karmically damaging to me. Yeah, come on. I what mean, the fuck are you it's thinking? It's a choice between giving it to you as a gift. What could somebody do with a stack of money? Think you're gonna buy him uh, his own iPad Pro, or you're gonna make him buy his own? I don't own need rock? him to buy me anything. I'd probably do He's that before. I don't. I don't. I don't want. Your gifts. He's gonna. He's a. He's a. He's a. He's a. He's a little cheapy. Cheapy peepy. So he's I'm, gonna I'm test drive. I'm not a cheapy he's peepy, a cheapy as peepy. you call me. I'm not a cheapy peepy, Dan. He's Fucking a, take it back. You're kind of a. I'm cheapy not a cheapy peepy. peepy. I wanted to know if it worked. We were talking on the plane, and you said, "Well, I could let you buy, and I let me try it out, and I'll give it back, and I'll buy my own." That's not a cheapy peepy. That's being smart. <laughs> There was some editing there. Can we see the open mic eagle one too? Now I'm curious what that is. What's Wait, the, what's, what's some the some open mic eagle one? Let's, 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 let's do the open mic eagle one. That's a goodie too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. We're Can you all see okay? Is it, uh, probably not. Wait, did you want to talk about something? About no, no, I just, I'm one? just uh, experiencing anxiety for... Wow. Water, ocean, waves, sky. F- fucked your mama. It came in her eye. Okay, see ya. See, now, why does it always have to be fucking somebody's mama? I don't know, because I think about that, because it's edible. Okay, right? but look, but look, but look, but look. Uh, well, uh, I'll stop you right there, because you're doing something that a lot of rappers, freestyle rappers do. It's Thank called, you. It's called having a crutch. Oh. But, oh. like, mine used to be when I'm on the mic, ah. right? <laughs> I love It'd that. It'd be like, my name's Mike Eagle. When up on the mic, I say hi to people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so, so how do you deal with crutches? Did you, well, did you, you take just, a hacksaw to them? Yeah, you become conscious of them and you just try not to. But it's there for a reason because we do that to help us get help us fill the time between what we said and where okay, we have okay, to get okay. to. And, and the enemy is starting to think? No, the, the enemy is stopping. 
That's the only enemy is stopping. You just keep going. You're just like. Uh, rapping. Oh, rapping. It's that easy, people. It's that easy. <laughs> can... Salt, pepper, fork, spoon. Oh, did... sun and the moon. I got a, a solar system that's going round and round. I got my voice in my brain, and the brain is the sound. I got to flow through the rap. I got to flow through the people. Here's the mother church and I don't go to the steeple cause I go to the altar and I pray to God I drop down to my knees and I let them through my body I want to get down with you to the break of dawn go Mac go Mac hey he didn't fuck one mother in that at all much and you don't do such if you don't do what you're supposed to do then you do what you're gonna do if you don't do what you're gonna do you do what you've always done i'm gonna have fun and run in the sun i'm gonna be on the beach and make another one of my buns by cooking it in an oven and i'm putting it in the shoving with my dick and i'm a, okay right. yeah you put your dick in the muffin if you want to fuck the bread impromptu yeah <laughs> wow Wow, that was some great rapping I learned to do that episode and then never went back. <laughs> I, I, I think that is truly one of the things that I'm most ashamed of. Like, I kind of cry, because like, open mic came in the show, you felt that, that was like, like a, it, was, it was real, it's funny, but it was also real. It was like, it was like yeah, you gotta get off the fuck your mama thing, because it has nothing to do with mamas or fucking, but it's like this cadence thing. And then I was like, oh, you get to ditch that. And then that happened. But I never, ever, like, it sucks. I never went back. I never, I was never able to, I, I just went right back to the crutches. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of it. And that's why we Let's never, fix that right we never now. brought open mic yeah. back. Open mic keeps saying, like, can I come back on the show? I'm like, no, you can't. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. He's busy. Oh, shit. Toast, bread, go in the head. I didn't fuck your mama instead. <laughs> all right, all right. <sighs> Rap! Oh. Hold up. Uh, Zach, you got one of those new beats? <laughs> <laughs> Zach, are you with us? You have that? Yeah, lay, lay, one, lay one on us. I, I, I'll just hold the I like the idea that it's like sad. Like, you gotta do the new stuff. Like, like, that'll make the golden retriever shit in the right spot. You gotta... <laughs> yeah, this is a little more contemplative, Dan. So, so I'm like, dig, dig deep here. Yeah, yeah. Ha, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh. The wind and the spirit and the tent. You never fear it. Ow, wow, wow, and the Irish and the Scottish tribes need to be respected by the Pope. Ow, cranberries, Sinead. What? Break it down. My name is MC Dick. I'm here to give your balls a lick. I'm gonna slather my tongue upon the, the shaft and go and take a run at your anus. Give you a rim job. I'm not here to be neat. I'm gonna be a slob. I'm gonna slather all my saliva all over your privates. That's not, that, that's not what Open Mike taught me. I see his J Jedi ghost shaking his head. <laughs> that's not, just because you're not fucking your mama doesn't mean you're not crutching. Yo, oh, I feel the spirit, do you hear it? I'm gonna rap inside my mind and share it. I'm gonna flow from my brain to my mouth and not rhyme anything with South. Oh, yeah, it's over, it's over. Oh, damn. Oh, don't. 
I mean, I was, uh, I was very impressed by that. I think, I, I, you know, it's a good show because we've been through a lot on stage. That, that was a, that was interesting because there were clips in there where we didn't have the audience and then we did have the audience. Like the cheapy peepy thing, there was no audience, right? Yeah. Oh, it, wow. I, I mean, I wonder to they what... They didn't it, like yeah. it. They couldn't afford it. <laughs> they, they didn't like it. They didn't, yeah, we had a lot of good times. Didn't but, show you it know, up? we had some bad times, too. Oh, we also had some bad times. <laughs> no, I'm just making that up. <laughs> Uh, can, we, can we do, it's, it's 11 seconds long, can we do Jim Belushi impression? Yeah. Oh, I know this one. Tipping that a bit. Yeah, I was. <laughs> well, he didn't say we could. Oh. Uh, I do like... Mitch, have you got a Jim Belushi impression for us? No video. Oh. <laughs> Why are we looking? Jim Belushi impression is not very good, so yes. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Yes. Your number yes. one. <laughs> That was your 11 second clip. Was we, we, we asked him, do you do a John Belushi impression? He goes, I can do a bad Jim Belushi impression. No. Yep. I can, can do, do a, a Jim Belushi impression, but it's not that good, so yes. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that one's too long. That's, uh... What's Ryan Ridley impression? Is that, is that... <laughs> I don't know what that is. Well, what Emily is... loves that one. <laughs> what is Ryan oh, no. Ridley impression? No, let's do Curtis Armstrong's uh, Scream Spells. That one's good. <laughs> this is some good D&D. I love Curtis. Is this one a video? Uh, hey, Doc. Um, <laughs> b b remember what you said uh, back there about, you know, you know me, me maybe. About you could have done better than I could have done better. And I, uh, <laughs> you know, it's hard because, you know, we, we live in this world that just, it just reinforces the fact that you're not, you're not supposed to be free. You're not supposed to be happy. And, like, I don't feel, like, I've never felt like I deserve happiness. It's not true. You're a decent girl. <laughs> you could have anything. I, I just don't want your life to be like I, mine. I want to. And if uh, if you need some more convincing, uh, why don't I show you uh, what my old friend, Doctor Friend, can do spell wise? Take it away, Doctor Friend. Agony, agony spell. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Agony. Agony. He's same it induces same team. terrible pain. Same team. Same in team. In the target. He's the guy that pays Until us. it is deactivated. Jesus Christ. Ah. There. I've created a dome or wall. <laughs> <laughs> of magical energy. <laughs> Can I use my agony spell uh -huh. on the guy, even though he's he's getting away, but it's a long distance agony spell? Can I do one of those? Uh, you don't have line of sight to him. He's he's far far off. So can I? I'm but my mother not. could do that without seeing me. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. We got to get that guy back. We're going to get Curtis back. He was really into it. He was I, really I, I, in I love character. That halfway through that sequence, there's like this crazy Easter show. Easter. <laughs> what was that? That's it the blessing Easter. of 300 episodes is that you're like, what the fuck <laughs> happened? What? So, also, a series of horrible haircuts by me. This is wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, look. Um, oh, okay. Emily, how are your freestyle rapping skills? <laughs> not, uh, not worthy. <laughs> not even, not a, no, no. MC, not no. worthy. <laughs> Let's try it. No, there is a... Get that beat. Emily <laughs> will do it. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. It's, yeah. it's like pooping in a bag. Yeah. <laughs> it, you and Kamel. Kamel, both of you together, together now. Yes, you fucking can. Well, then you just goaded me into doing it, so now you have to do I it too. Do it. Look at me, turn and face me. Look at me. We got this. Steve A. Just tell me. We are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
That's really hard. That's really let's, hard. Let's keep trying. Let's keep trying. Uh, let's keep yeah. trying. That was just the first take. Let's try again. Let's try again. Make Steve rap. Steve rap. Steve should rap. Steve rap. Face each other. Let's try this one more time. Yeah. Kamel and Emily go. Come on, let's go. You got this. No, I can't do it. Okay. You got Ready? this. Let's go. It's like I'm changing drawers. I'll do the start and then you fill in the word that'll rhyme, okay? Okay. <laughs> this is impossible. Just do it. Any yeah. single time, I think I can. Okay. <laughs> that was it's the hard. hard. Wow. How can you have a word that. How can you have a word that. No, no. <laughs> no, but there wasn't a rhyming. There was no word to rhyme it with. No, you're no. supposed to pick the word. Okay, all right. Okay. Start it. <laughs> Yeah, do it. First day of rap camp. <laughs> let's go, let's go. First day of rap camp and I open up my locker. Waka <laughs> There's the word, that was the, that was the whole sentence. Out the gate, locker no. is a hard word. No. You were gonna give locker me. Locker is a hard word. No, you were gonna. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you give me? This is good, it's Don't good. do the last word and I'll do let's, the last let's, word. Let's like, start with the A's. My crutch is just gonna be like pussy, let's, pussy, let's, pussy, 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 pussy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hell Let, yeah. Let's just start with the A's. Work AIDS. our ways through the E's. I've so got AIDS. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is we amazing. have all the clips for our 400th episode. <laughs> Go ahead and don't say the last word okay, of the line okay. and I'll say the word. I wake up in the morning and I go to... Bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I never even know. Go ahead, I didn't hear. I never really know when I'm gonna go. Bathroom. <laughs> I think we're done here. <laughs> it's, that? It's the, incredible. Run, run, run DM passive aggressive. <laughs> uh, what a, what I'm a dynamic duo. Now. <laughs> Bathroom. <Thank you. laughs> I don't. It's I don't hard, think that. Hard. I don't think that you should be learning from me. But like, I, I, like a trade secret is, you come up with a word, and then while you think of the rhyme for that word, you say, "I fucked your mama so hard that I." <laughs> I like that. That gives you just enough time. So you're just like, went to the kitchen and had some milk. I fucked your mama so hard I felt like Same milk. Silk. Yeah. 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 That's that's where the crutch that's comes from. Okay, so it would be like I woke up in the morning, go to the bathroom, fucked your mama so hard in that bathroom. Yeah, yeah, that's dude. rapping. Go, Camille. Keep it up. Keep that rhyme scheme going. Took off my shirt because I was in the bathroom. bathroom. <laughs> Flush the toilet because I'm a grown man in a bathroom. bathroom. <laughs> Turn up the AC because it's hot in this bathroom. bathroom. Okay, okay. Ten percent of your overhead. 10% of your overhead. 10% of your overhead. 10% of your overhead. Yo, MC air conditioning is in the house. Be aware of it. Don't know what side I'm on. Keep the air conditioning on. I don't know if you should or shouldn't. Fuck your mama so hard. It wasn't prudent. <laughs> Wait. I'm gonna pick you up. It's gonna be 900 degrees. Fuck, fuck you. Wait. P -p Ooh, I'm part of the hoi polloi. So I ironically have the high road. It doesn't make a ton of sense, but it'll shut you up if you're thinking about complaining about it. In the bathroom. <laughs> Wait, I, 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 I want to hear Emily on that vocal thing. Can, can you can you pass on that mic, Dan? Wait. Yeah, put, put Emily on that she mic. Want, I want. I want oh, to hear her. Oh, vocal yeah. mic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi. 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 In the bathroom. I'm here to take your mom to prom. I'm a fucking hard in the bathroom. Wrong. Yeah. 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 Uh, then what? When I eat cereal every day, I get it on the carpet and I say okay. And then I go into the bathroom. Thank the you. bathroom. Thank you. All right, give 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 Kamel that mic. Give Kamel the mic. Have to try tape. No. Oh, it does sound great. It's fun. You can do a well, anyone can well if you wanna. Everybody knows you're in outer space, mama. 
Yeah. You're in the flow. Emily, please. You're in the flow. If that's a joke about my period, I don't appreciate it. That's my crutch. Okay, go. I don't know how to rap at all. Here I am, fucking your mom in the stall. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. Have a your friend out one night. Have a real good time. In the bathroom. In, in the, the bathroom. bathroom. That was good. All right, we did it. I have no rhythm uh, mm. at all. That's the problem. And yeah. the solution. Yeah. <laughs> in the bathroom. It, it the bathroom. reminds me of the time that John Mayer rapped on our show for one bathroom. minute and 24 seconds. I like and, that we're having, a, we're having a full-on 1980s mind. clip show. I love this. John, John Mayer's flow was fucking, like, crazy. Should have been a roast. <laughs> I'm going to drive home Your and think about the worst thing I said. It's going to get in my head. It's going to corkscrew. Your it's going to say, John, fuck you. Wonderland. There's some things you just shouldn't do. You're gonna run the whole transcript through that brick you call the brain, and then you're gonna complain. You're gonna ask if you can take it out, and the next time they put it up on the net, you're gonna say, uh, that thing I'd rather forget. Can we take the rap out? Did we do it yet? I just don't wanna hear from people telling me that there was something I said that they could get the smell on me, that I was trying too hard in the backyard. I bought the milkshake, but it had lard, and it was all curdled. Yeah, I don't wanna be that way, so I think I did it right. But now that I did, that's why I kept rapping tonight. So when I get in the car, I think about the rap. This is the thing that I did that's crap. To make it off balance, to make it strange. It's gotta be strange. So tomorrow is a new day, a new direction, a new way. I gotta improve, I gotta change. I did it too well tonight, that racks my brain. I gotta get in the tub and wonder what I can write to tell you, can you take a couple things out tonight? Cause I don't like two legs, I don't like four legs, I don't like even pegs. I like shit missing. That's when my brain goes blissing out, ooh, opioid love, ah, uh, up there in the tub, ah. Uh. Holy Brother fuck, love, John uh. Mayer just blew our fucking mind. You buried the lead. You fucking rap good. <laughs> I'm embarrassed that I did it in front of you. You can never come back again. <laughs> wow. That's good. Apparently the key is looking up to the right. Actually, and like it, doing it, this with your fingers? Well, yeah, yeah, he was doing, doing that. that. That was something. She, That's all you got to do. Yeah. And what, right, were, it, what it, were those it, keys for around his neck? What was what was those keys? I don't know. For? At the high, at he the drives high. an Uber, so he has to <laughs> have keys to get in. <laughs> well, so much Rob, hate. So much hate. Heat. There were keys to the bathroom. Keys to the bathroom. <laughs> all right. In the bathroom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, well, you know what? What, what I never mentioned. Fucking dick. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> she be in the kneecap with a microphone. That does hurt. Children, please. You like that noise, Rob? You like yeah. that? Shit! Shit! <laughs> Shit! Look what you're doing. You're what are you doing? Away. This is getting nice. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. A majority continue. of those clips are, are uh, at uh, Meltdown, which is now gone. And uh, yeah, I think we always knew how special that place was. And of course, when it closed down, we were all able to eulogize it. But the thing, like, I always thought, oh, this is a good place because of the crowd that it draws and the simplicity and all this stuff. But like, I, like we moved out of there and tried to do this show at my stage at Starburns with an audience, without an audience. We tried to do the show in a, in a VO booth. Now we've moved here. This place is great, no disrespect, but the crazy thing that is to realize that, oh, Meltdown was more than actually uh, the absence of a bunch of stuff. It was actually like inimitable. It was it, like, like, I always thought of it as like, oh, 
if we could just get these pillars out of here, we'd be great. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but but there was something secret about it, and I don't know what it is. Do you think it was as 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 true like natives of that place and 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 founding uh, parents of it? Was it? I'll start you off with one thing that people have said over and over again. Was it simple altitude? Like, is it <laughs> is it just that the audience the, the audience and the performer are like down at the same level? I, it, I think that's part of it. It always felt like a basement to me, like a, your coolest friend's like parents' basement that you got to hang out in and do whatever you wanted in, and everybody left you alone. They say low ceilings are important for comedy. Yeah, like I think they are. High ceilings are good yeah. for music. It just had like a, it just the opposite of an Indian burial ground, <laughs> like <laughs> whatever that is. <laughs> like it just, uh, Indian yeah. Indian living air. But was that place a fluke? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was that an accidental discovery, or did someone have to stand in that space and go, "This would be perfect for <laughs> performance"? Uh, I think Gaston, the owner of Meltdown Comics, always wanted it to be a performance space, but I think he wasn't ever going to put in time to like he didn't he didn't have the ability to put in time to like make it one. So that was kind of it was kind of loosely like random shows were there, and then that yeah, and then we started doing Meltdown there. And then I got hired to like do all the other shows there, which is how, uh, which is how Harmontown, because I was like, I need shows so bad, and there was nothing happening. But it just always felt magical. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like you know, you say all those things about the high ceilings and the, the that it was a pretty small space. Whatever it is, whatever the physical dimensions of a great comedy theater are, it had that. But it also had, I don't know, the fact that you had to go through a comic book store to get there. There was. You know, it was like, as you said, an Indian living air about that place. Um, there was something magical about it, yeah. you know? Um, I, I understood the, co that's what, that's the thing is that I understood the comic going through it. I understood the factual information. Oh, it's hip. Yeah. It's the new Largo. It's, it's, it's LA. It's underground. It's, it, but it, like understanding that as a, as a matter of fashion, which makes it like actually artificial, where you go like, oh, the reason this is uh, successful is actually because of mass hysteria is actually yeah. a disservice yeah. because that room is inimitable. Like we sit here in this room, for instance, we like try to like, we're like, God damn it, now that we're in a different room, how do we get that how fucking meltdown it? sound? Yeah. And it's crazy, like if I were gonna record a, an album, whatever that is anymore. I, I, I would, I would be like, can we buy the melt meltdown space? Like, like, because what is it? It's mysterious. Yeah, it's mysterious. There's, there's also a whole community around it. I mean, we would see people come to our show, and then they would become friends, and people like met there and got engaged and married and divorced and you know and it they was, went on to work here and went on and to work it felt more other appropriate places. like if you guys got married after tonight you'd be monsters <laughs> <laughs> like why did you marry him? I would say your oh, audience oh well, we were sitting next to each other in a fucking auditorium downtown and be like you monster you deserved this divorce I'm kidding I, I'm kidding Kind Your audience of. has always been the most special of all the audiences, I will say, <laughs> <laughs> that, that Meldon ever had. The most, like, uh, literally people saying, bringing in their own chairs, because I told a guy once, will you pay the money for the chair? <laughs> I, like, jokingly. <laughs> And he brought his own chair the You'd next week. You'd be like, week. now I get it free. Yeah. You can guess who that was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I had no choice but to be like, you have bested me. Yeah. Please come on in. <laughs> does, does it rhyme with Thratum Flaw? Flodberg? Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, it does uh, rhyme with that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I mean, sorry, sorry. I'll I knew leave. our audience was special, but I, I always thought that, that that place was so special, and uh, I will we'll, we'll we'll be fine here too. But also, it's been three hundred episodes, so why not stop? You know, let's just uh -oh. stop. Just stop. Are you netting this thing right it. now? Stop it. Stop it. Oh, bro, are you netting this thing? Stop making the thing? podcast. Stop making it. I'm not fishing for that. <laughs> is, this I said, is this the last episode? Can you swear to that? <laughs> Jesus, you're the one pushing it. I want to see what happens. No, nah, I'm, I'm too drunk to make decisions. I, uh, That's fair. I'm just tired. I'm tired of, of being me. I'm tired of being famous. Stopping yeah. doing the podcast won't stop you from being you. Will it, though? Yeah, no, but I could be me in a dark room where no one can hurt me anymore. Like, uh, you can hurt you, yourself. Who's the one person who hurts you the most? What? No, I, I, I. No one has ever given me more pleasure than myself. <laughs> Believe me, you lock me in a room with me, uh, I'm gonna experience a lot of pleasure. 
That's, that's the one thing I know for sure. <laughs> there will be no pain. You come back in a year, and there will be like a lot of blogs on the wall, and it won't be written in ink. Um, <laughs> Anyways, uh, what else some is Ziploc bags if you need them? What else is on the docket? Well, look, wait, wait, we didn't even like if, if I was a Martian, I was listening to the podcast. I was like, oh, who's Kumail and Emily? Who the fuck are you guys? Like, we, last we we bid you guys kind of farewell. There there was never an official thing, but like our sh our ships drifted apart. You we we haven't spoken to you guys. Uh, what 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 has changed about life? Like, is there anything to? to... We got some fake grass in our <laughs> lawn instead of real grass. Did you guys move? You got a no, nice we house. Didn't. Oh, we had a nice house. Are you still living in the same place <laughs> yeah, as yeah. when you were non-Oscar nominated? <laughs> yeah, well, when you get nominated, you they get a house. They give you the a new Oscar house. nomination. Yeah. Doesn't come with a deed to a new house. <laughs> yeah, and they take it away from someone. <laughs> yeah. um, actually, just a normal it's person. It's actually all the nominees of your category move into the same house, and the winner gets to keep it. That's what's unfortunate. So we so got to Jordan live there, is and Jordan's there now, now. Yeah, yeah, we call it our house. Uh, I mean. Yeah. No, we're in the same place. We're in yeah. the same place, yeah. All right, in terms of career, both <laughs> as actors, writers, like, so, fa the, like, like, if you, to the extent that you can remember, so imagine this path before The Big Sick, and now then The Big Sick is this big black box that's like, we can't analyze that, but imagine that as a black box for the purpose of the equation. So... Can you can you compare like yeah. what has like really empirically Every, shifted? everything? <laughs> it's yeah. very different. Yeah. Good, good, good and bad. Sure, yeah. but mostly good. More yeah. good than bad. Yeah, we it, we get to choose what we want to work on rather than being like, oh, it'd be cool if we got this job. Either one of us. I people would think we know what we're doing. Oh my god, so that's the, the best part. <laughs> very scary. Yeah. <laughs> very Do you think scary. that's mostly is that is that, is that, is that like it's because the obviously the agents like are able to now it's like they're able to get people are able to say can i meet with them and the mm -hmm. answer is yes and like you get to like have these meetings that you never thought you'd have mm -hmm. and uh so it's all it's it's mostly positive right yeah well the greatest thing really is the thing that we've wanted to do for years and years and years we for a little brief window right now we're in a position where we can do that right it can go away very quickly. Very quickly. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. If like if I if like my next the next movie I mean if it comes out it doesn't do well, it could go away right then. You see it all the time. So so we're trying to well, we're very aware of that. It's a little bit scary. Does it, so, so, yeah, that, was, did that raise your anxiety, which is a terrible thing to happen to you that wouldn't have been the case before you hit yeah. the moon with well, a slingshot. Now it's like a, the expectations are high. I mean, I'm sure you're aware of this. But like, and so everybody kept, keeps telling us, don't write your second thing, write your third thing. Right. Like, don't skip well, past Well, first of it. all, I've actually never heard that and that, like, that's fucking. It, <laughs> that's great, right? It, that sounds awful, <laughs> uh, but, and, and accurate, and yeah. like horrifying. Yeah, that sounds awful. Because there's so much pressure on you to like recreate. What, what, what does that mean? I don't quite understand. It means that. skip the second thing, just because you put so much pressure on yourself for what were you gonna write Everybody's next? Everybody's like, oh my god, what will you guys be doing next? They're like, like skip it, just go to the we next. We would literally thing. be doing press. <laughs> but everyone else knows this is your second yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not as good. No, we would be doing press. This for... idea that there would be pressure on you that you would go. Say you loved poodles, and you're like, and then you made the big sick, and then okay. you're like, the big sick made everybody like, JJ Abrams wants to meet with you, and then you're like, do we pitch him the poodle movie, or do we like pitch him a fucking Star Trek poodle thing, or like, like you you have an anxiety that didn't exist when you were just like. I'll well, fucking is, do anything there, I want. There's a fear when you actually get the freedom to do whatever you want of like, oh shit, now I have to do whatever now I want. Now I have to bet right. Yeah, now I have to. Or the to, house win. Yes, exactly. That's exactly right. That but is I definitely would say a fear. We've done a good job of only doing what we, so, so that what we want to do has not changed and we're, we've been able to do that. We haven't like, what do you say? <laughs> like the stuff that we liked before our movie that we were like, we want to make stuff like this. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the kind of stuff. That's the that stuff that we're both doing individually and together. So it's like that part's good, but then it's also like when you get the freedom to do whatever, there's like a certain terror in the freedom to do whatever. Here's my most sensitive, crazy question because I don't even, I've, like, you guys are life partners and writing partners. What does that do to a relationship? Like, like, like to be under, like, I've never it even It makes you take your, all your clothes off when you take a shit. Yeah. And I put all of his clothes on when I take a shit. So that's, that's what's changed. 
you guys have been very candid, so I would have said, like, have you had fights that have like like been brought on by monstrous fights? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. You don't yes. have to share them because I think that's too. Yes. Like, well, like, we so live in too gossipy a world. So. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not gossipy. So. We have had fights because the thing is, if you if you have a fight with a coworker, there's a ceiling to where that fight can go. Yep. But if you're having a fight with a coworker who's also the person you're in love with, the ceiling is much higher. So you can start on a or fight. Or lower, really. The basement's much yes, lower. Yes, the basement's yeah. lower. So yeah. if you're starting on, like, hey, I disagree. It should be like this. With a coworker, you're like, it can't really get as personal as it can. With this, so you, we really had to have rules. We had to figure out how to be able to write together. Uh, I think if you shared a couple of those, it'd be valuable. First of all, to me, I have a, <laughs> I have a girlfriend who's a writer. Like very talented writer. We get we get by okay. It's fucking ho- It's it's a challenge to like approach the area. Yeah. Uh, of, of of because and we're not partners. We don't work on stuff together. So like if you guys figured out how to not kill each other, we like, just have like a couple of rules of like you can't. Uh, you have to find the specific. We literally book time to work with each other rather than just assuming that the other person's available. I think that's a big one. You have to have those lines, otherwise, yeah. just hanging out at home can be worse. So if that, so to be clear about that, if you guys are like, hey, as lovers, let's go stay at this hotel and have, have pina coladas. If Kumail's like. Mm, that's a good pina colada. I think the protagonist should think. That's exactly. Emily's like, no, knock it you. off, no, fuckface. Yeah. Like, like, okay. Literally in the shower before you came here, you were like, can I ask you a work question? You and have I, to. I said, no. Hey, I'm in here taking a shit. I'm not showering. <laughs> I can understand your confusion. I'm naked. Let's anyway, turn the, the air conditioner off on the ride over to the theater. <laughs> in the bathroom. Well, uh, we have we have specific work times, and then, as you said, if we're like just hanging out, we have to get the other person's. Per- if I was like, if she thinks of something for the movie or whatever we're working on, she has to be like, "Hey, can we switch gears?" So you, right. and the other person has to give you permission, and that makes a huge difference. Do you have a, is there a safe word for to get to get out? <laughs> You no, that's stop. actually that's it's actually a real probably question. good idea. Like, yeah. I, I, like, like, it would be like, look, fucking too much. Yeah. Ruining the honeymoon. Yeah, like. and don't do it in bed. No talking about work stuff in bed. That's, that's a big true. one. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And we also don't, like, the way we write together is when we, like, when we're, like, breaking a story or something, we're together, but then we don't actually write in the same room. Mm. That would uh, destroy, I think, both of us. drafts back and forth. Um, and, but, you know, it's really, it's great. Like, so we're, like, working on something right now together and it's like really exciting because we'll like talk about it and then later in the day I'm like Emily thought of that one thing I don't think anybody in the world but her could have thought of that Mm -hmm. and it's really exciting and it's also like she'll write something and I'll be the first person in the world to read it and that's very exciting it's like I get to look inside her brain um, so to so the positives Isn't far that so outweigh. so sweet? I can't even handle that. It's so sweet. And it, no, you don't no. have to clap for it. I'm just saying, like, it is very sweet. And I also, I, I feel the same way about you. And it's, I think that's Good. part of it, is starting with that respect of, like, oh, I really like what he does, and what a cool thing that I get to have access to it before anybody else. And you have to kind of start on that foot of, like, I'm a big fan of this person. Because if not, if you're coming at it from, like, a how can I fix what they've done, right. then you're already losing. Right, yeah. right. I, mean, I am I'm never going to find love. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to start there. You don't have to start here. You can, you can, you can just be at Rite Aid and be like, <laughs> she shares my interest in these knit socks. See, I bet like, you're <laughs> the best boyfriend. I've thought about this. I bet you're the best boyfriend. You've thought Stop. about this? <laughs> I have. I have. I have. No, Did you think about it in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Can't you see it in her drafts? <laughs> She's, yeah. Why is everyone named Steve Agee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do think that's amazing. I don't want to lose that, if only for myself, just that idea, because the uh, it's a, you know how magnets, like, they have fields, so, like, they can propel each other as easily as they can. Like, they can, like magnets are out of fucking control. They get in the presence of each other, and they do shit beyond your control. I'm not being insane clown posse. I... <laughs> I, I, I also don't understand magnets, but I, I'm not pretending I do, but I, I, I but it's like, because C- Cody and I aren't writing partners. We don't write together, but she's the first writer I've ever been with. Mm-hmm. And like, when the truth is, like for her to say, hey, would you read my script? Like it, 
it's it sends fucking spasms of panic through me. Really? Yes, because what you guys have achieved is you're you're like, oh, I'm a big fan and all this stuff. Well, you've 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 worked together and done all this stuff, and it's like, I'm like, I there's like like, like I freak out because I'm like, what if I fuck up? What if I? But if you fuck up while reading her stuff? Well, what if what if what if anything about this perfect stasis? Oh, you're like, what if I don't like it? It's like you guys are t- it's, to put it in Star Wars terms. Um, you it's like what you guys are kind of describing to me is like, hey, we're <laughs> we're Luke and Han, and I'm it, 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 like, but people change roles, and then I'm like, like, what? But if you if you if you see a writer from across a bar and then you're like you start talking and then you start dating and then you hook up and you're in a relationship with a writer it's like you're han and han and like you're uh, who's gonna shoot first like 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 han. You, you never want to han you don't you don't want to fuck with that like you know, whoa yeah, baby. Uh, oh she oh, just wants another drink, drink. Okay. cody <laughs> cody heller everybody oh. cody have a seat no 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 i I'm really just filling in my Came out here okay. to remind you I'm, to shut the fuck up. I'm listening from back there. <laughs> Je- uh, but, but yeah, yeah I mean... It I, is work. I'm not saying that this, the way that we work together uh, is... It's still work. You have to sort of figure out and there's still bumps and... We uh, both think we're alpha still. <laughs> Yeah, That's yeah. not, like, that doesn't go away. You just have to kind of, like, realize, like, oh, maybe sometimes there's two alphas or two betas. Like, yeah. it doesn't go away. I have achieved that. I have that with Rob a little bit. Like, like, like when we write together. <laughs> like, like, Rob and I have written stuff together for 20 years, and then, like, Justin, Rick and Morty. Like, I, you, for, you find partnerships with people where you're like, okay, this works. <laughs> and it doesn't always work. But... I just, you, you're talking about like when you think about the math of it, like the the every anybody in this room might be like, oh, I get together on Wednesdays and I write with my friend and we're trying to write a screenplay together and they're my writing partner. Take the difficulty, the challenge of that relationship, multiplied times. Oh, unrelated to anything that I do, like oh, I'm dating this person, I'm trying to make that work, and then you multiply those two things. That's why I'm like, what? How are you guys? Well, we were not lucky in that we were able to work together and not write together because writing is a sort of a very personal thing. Very vulnerable, yeah. Very vulnerable thing. So we sort of, you know, with Meltdown, um, I was performing and she was producing the show, and then we hosted a podcast together. So we slowly worked up to figuring out how to write together because that you, is. You guys had a precedent of not punishing each other for vulnerability, yes. things like that. Like, I think that's important. Or at least Emily, Emily's each background other for doing as, that. A, yeah. as a mental health professional, maybe, not to. There you throw, go. You know. I don't think that hurts, no. <laughs> if, you, if, if you're going to write with a lover, find a shrink, maybe, <laughs> is the lesson? No. no, no. All right. Well, yeah, thank I, you for answering that stuff, frankly. I'm well, the, the other thing that's great is that we do, we're very similar in the things we like, I think, for different reasons, and so we're able to write together because we have the same aesthetic, um, the same taste, but we sort of focus on different things of it, so we kind of have different strengths that work well together. Is one of you the better dialogue or story person, or is it, is it like, or are you kind of both equally strong there? Or like, do you guys kind of share roles? Well, Emily's very good at character stuff because she's a therapist, and t- tell them about your thing about how you sort of. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're like therapizing someone, you're 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 you're. Tell them about of... how you accidentally caught that murderer while we were writing that uh, Nash Bridges spec. No, I mean we both have. Th- we're, and he's also very good at that too. Like and yeah, we both have. We're both kind of good at the same stuff. I would say we don't need to like okay. get ready. Yeah, sure. we're both good at the same stuff. I would say. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. I, I watched your movie way too late, but I watched it on a plane, and it was like, I fucking just adored it. I love it so oh, much. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Were you wearing underwear? <laughs> Fuck yeah, me undies, baby. Yeah. <laughs> me undies all the way. It uh, kind of reminds me of... Uh, you, you know, uh, uh, Dan, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to jump in here, because you guys are talking about being a married couple, and we're, <laughs> we're, we're, all, uh, we're all kind of a unit. We're all kind of a family. <laughs> Can we play the, the family rap and MC John? 
And thank you so much for listening to shows. I don't know how many you all have listened to, but how? thank you for <laughs> thank you for putting children. up with our nonsense. Let's let, let, let's play a family MC John rap, and then let's fuck off into the night. When you move, move, move your body to the beat. When you see he, he, everybody in the street. I got the water We'll put them both in a cup With our daughter Family Family on the street With a bucket and a cup Doing everything What's up? Family Family on the street tonight With a bucket and a cup What's up? Bucket, bucket Yo, yo, yo My name is MC John I'm here to mow the lawn I'd like to use a rake, but that grass will not take. I gotta get up on the riding mower. So faster, don't go slower. Mow around the trees and yard. I fucked your mama hard. I want to see you next day night. I don't want to get into a fight. Yeah, don't get in a fight, baby. Cause you are my family and I love you. Say what? I won't steal your socks or your shoes. Family. Cause you got what I need. Family. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Harmon Town, everybody. <laughs> Give it up for Rob Schraub, Steve Agee, Brandon Johnson, Kamel Nanjiani, Emily Gordon, the reason this all happened, Spencer Crittenden, the Game Master. Let's also give it up for everybody that's helped us out. I'll forget some names, but Sarah, Kevin, Zach, Yusung, Church, Chris, Nolan, Steve Levy, Spencer Critton, and I'm a comptroller, Jeff Davis, your mayor is Dan Harmon, everybody. Thank you. again yo yo my name is dr ken i'm going to be here again when i go down to the evening room i'm gonna fuck your mama in her womb and uh, make her pregnant till she has a baby i'm gonna fuck her she said maybe if i raise it with you it'll be rich but i said whoa it's gonna need another stitch a peasy out of me a peasy pleasy me i'm gonna do it to you until you do it to me i take you to a place you've never been because i told you before my name Ooh, is dr yeah. Fuck dr ken. ken dr ken dr ken Fucking all the mamas, fucking all the mamas. Doctor Ken, Doctor Ken, he's fucking all the mamas, fucking all the mamas again. Baby bop bop, baby bop bop, bop. fucking mama till she does it, and mama the bop. I put her down the broom and to the tide, put your mama on the pine saw and the turpentine. Got the bop, put the ceiling and the floor. I fucked your mama a little bit, then I fucked her some more. I put the fucked her from wall to wall, side to side. Fucked your mama in a narrow opening and then the wide. Doctor Ken, Doctor Ken, fucking on a mama, fucking on a mama. Great work! Doctor Ken, Doctor Ken, fucking on a mama's, on a mama's, all a mama's again. 
I'm slowly going to do it to you then again. I'm going to have a slave army till you come again. I'm going to march through your walls and bring all your people. I'm going to fuck up your churches and all your fucking steeples. I'm going to bring all my armies inside your walls. Going to fuck your mama so hard she's going to think her name was... Dr. Ken. <laughs> Go outside and look at the sun and look at the stars. That means I go out in the day and the night. I'm never inside. I'm a monster man. Great. That's a good song. Were you happy with the episodes of Community that Rob directed? No, they're 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 great. Yeah, yeah I kept I'm Yahoo great. alive, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they went Yahoo. Oh shit! Oh fuck! <laughs> shit! How much do pink balls cost? Oh my god! 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 Oh fuck! me <laughs> just fuck me somebody just fuck me to death i want to die <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh jesus christ <laughs> maybe i read the numbers wrong let's look oh it's worse it's worse than I thought it was. Uh, Mr. Yahoo, there is a board meeting that is uh, uh, happening actually in the room you're standing in right now. Yeah. Okay. 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 Someone just wanted to remind you of okay. that. Okay. I'm CEO, head of the stockholders, and chief board member. My name is Johnson. <laughs> I'd like to know why we... Spent thirty billion dollars this year on TV shows <coughs> that no one wanted to watch. Uh, this, uh, the new form of comedy explains uh, itself. <laughs> <laughs> roll the film. Roll the film. <laughs> The 1938 says a new form of comedy. Look at those boys go. Cary Grant's got a new form I'm just of gonna comedy. Leave. I'm just Marilyn gonna leave. Monroe was Lisa a Yahoo, you could find your own way home, right? I'm only seven. That's okay. Here's fifty dollars. Oh, find a cab. I'm rich. No. Look I'm, at gonna those go. gams. I'm gonna start my own network. Uh, take yeah, good that. luck with that. Good luck with that. It's super easy. It's so easy. Good luck. It's Super easy. Good luck. And that's how CISO was born. Give us, a, um. give us another joke, Dan. Dan, how about a joke? Here, let me give you a subject. Shoes, go. Give us a shoe joke. Give us one of your famous Dan Harmon shoe jokes. Dan, come on. Top five. Dan Harmon, best shoe joke, starting with the fifth joke. All right, here we go. We're going live. We're, go, we're going. What's he doing? We're going live, people. Okay. We're going live. All right. Jesus Christ, man. How Number many five. jokes are there? Feel Guy like walks into a shoe store with a bottle of champagne and his cock uh, hanging out of his pants. The shoe woman <laughs> says. Can I help you, sir? And he says, what do you have in an 11 and a half? She takes him in back. There's a sheep there wearing a beautiful pair of ruby slippers on its front hooves and these amazing Air Jordan cross trainers <laughs> on its rear hooves. With a, but it's got this gaping mouth for a butthole, a human mouth with teeth and lipstick and a tongue. She says, have at it, and goes back to the front of the store. He's left holding the champagne and his cock. She's sweeping up, 
later, he comes out with an empty bottle and no cock. She says, did you enjoy the, sh the 11 and a half? And he says, at these prices, I'm going to need more champagne. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We'll be back <laughs> with joke number four. What do you call a shoe with no sole? The top of a sock. <laughs> All right, we're no, that's a, that's, that was a little more cerebral we're than number five. It, we're going to keep it moving. Yeah. All he's, right. He's making us think. Yep. Why did the... <laughs> why did the... Why did the... Why did the, the Asian shoe... <laughs> In a, in a racist society <laughs> go uh, to the uh, 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 horse's uh, stable um, when he felt uh, untied. He wanted to find the laces. <laughs> I was looking for the laces. This is a racist society. Here comes Dan Harmon. Why do shoes come in pairs? They, they like to converse. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. The ratings are going through the roof. Jerry, Jerry. Oh. We, we built the number one joke as the number one joke for a reason. It has to top man, the Converse man, joke. This has the be... Converse joke is a fucking 24 karat goddamn piece of genius. We're going to be so fucking... Uh, all he has to do is tell one more joke. Because all he has to like... do is tell one more joke. Because they like to converse. It's got to be the best uh, joke of God. the night. Damn, I'm going to fucking... We I'm got gonna, a hit. I'm gonna, we, we got a, a big we got titted a big, hit here. Big titted hit. Big titted hit here. One more joke. Oh my God! Oh. Emmy season, sweep, sweep, moonshot. We're gonna be so fucking rich. All he has to do is tell one more shoe joke. Only one more joke. Oh my God! One more joke. Oh God. Hey Dan, oh Dan, God. Honey, it's Susan and Gary from the booth. Can you hear us? Oh God! Holy shit! <laughs> yes. We're oh coming back from Tony Taco time in five seconds. Oh my God! Just be yourself out there, sweetheart. We love you. We got a Holy big. Shit. Take, take it, it home, shoe take boy. It home. Take Come it on, shoe boy. Shoot boy! Come on, kick it! Kick this joke! Here we go, here we go, here we go. In five, four, three. What do shoes and tarps have in common? Under specific circumstances, they are covering corns. <laughs> That's been it for Dan Harmon Tells Shoes. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Baby dance, baby dance, baby, baby, baby dance. Big pile of booties out front. Candid camera hosted by Alan Funt. Saw your mama just the other day Got on my knees and I started to pray Cause your mama's booty is like a god to me It's all that I ever see Like a Tootsie Roll in those old ads I fucked your mama, her name is Tad Thaddeus by birth Then later shortened to the informal Tad I took your mama to the beach I fed her apples, I fed her a peach. She started to get heartburn because the citric acid, that's what we learned, is causing her esophagus to fuck her up. Now she's in a sarcophagus. She's not dead. She's just get, in, in, getting out of her head. Little meditation exercise. Fuck your mama between her juicy thighs. Put my head inside. I got reverse porn. Now I'm wide. I'm wide. W I D E. I meant to say it. It's a new way to say cool. <laughs> wide. You're wide now. All right. That was good. Uh, I gotta say, man, that shit was wide. <laughs> that shit was wide. Yeah. 
Well, I was gone for far too long, but now I'm back. I was gone and for too long, your comptroller was black. <laughs> but now I'm back and here to stay. And all I want to say is Some people call me Pringles Dick But I never really found out why I don't really have a Pringles Dick I just keep my dick inside I keep my dick inside a Pringles can Because it keeps my penis safe and dry some people call me Pringles Dick, but I never really found out. No, I never found out. I never really found out why. If you know, sing along. Some people call me Pringles Dick, but I never found out why. I don't really have a Pringles Dick. I just keep my dick inside. I keep my dick inside a Pringles can because it keeps my penis safe and dry. Some people call me Pringles Dick, but I never really found out. No, I, never found out. I never really found out why.